today on the six wheeling stream here we're going to learn course play on the great western extreme map and do some harvesting and some hijinks and who knows what else welcome along we'll kick it off in a minute and i don't know how about 40 seconds everybody hey we're ready to go now looks like how you doing hey John Brock thank you very much buddy appreciate that how are you today <laughs> hey look what I got I've been playing on this PC now for over a year uh, April of last year I started on a PC I finally decided not to be afraid of this course play um, I was watching my buddy Chris over at Funny Farm Gaming this morning. I was watching a replay of his stream from last night, and he had some of this running and explained really in very simple terms how it runs. And um, my golly, it's fun. <laughs> so I've got several things going on here right now. This is the Great Western Extreme map, which Funny Farm Gaming made. And I used to stream it uh, a few times. So now it's going to be a brand new Let's Play series. We'll call this episode one. And look at here what's going on. Look how cool this is. I'm recording a path, if you will, uh, a course to mow this grass field 
right here. And you see there's no number here. So I couldn't have it calculated on its own because uh, it's not an assigned field number. So long story short, I turned on the recorder and hit higher. Well, I did the edge. I set the edge. That's the blue line you see around the field. It defines the edge. And then I hit uh, hire a worker. So I just hired a worker and started the recording. And it is plotting and laying out a course for me that I will give a name to. And then in the future, I'll be able to just select this course and let it run. So uh, that's cool. I'll give it a name. And that's uh, how that works. I'm doing okay, John. I'm not... <clears throat> I've been having some things, but but I'm... Uh, you know, I'm not... Not croaking or nothing. <laughs> My voice is in and out, but uh, you know, I'm I'm hanging in here. I hope you're doing good. So I also have running somewhere. Okay, here's my big old truck, and uh, we're filling it up with corn uh, as we're doing a corn harvest. And I I have a um, now this field, I was able to just pull up to it. And have course place select uh, or calculate the course. And now you see how this is sitting off course, the harvester. Uh, the way that works, it does that automatically so that I don't, if you got field destruction on, crop destruction, it fixes it to where you don't have to drive through the crop to come empty the combine. And that's just absolutely cool so I, i'm gonna once i'm really confident in what i'm doing i'm gonna start turning on the crop destruction and uh give that a go because this thing will keep me from having to drive into the crop so that's pretty cool yeah you're at work okay hope you're having a good day there hope they're not working you too hard john man So yeah, we're gonna, um, I'm harvesting field, uh, what is this, three? One, no, three, <laughs> field three. There I am. And uh, I already tested out the uh, forage harvester too, and it will work on this same field running the same course. And this temporary course will have a name. Actually, I gave it a name, I don't know. Yeah, I gave it a name. I don't know why it's still showing that, but I guess uh, it'll probably show that until the next time around, I guess. All right, so uh, we got the machine. Now look at that. See it go? <clears throat> once you get, uh, once you get uh, out of the way there. Ooh, I just missed two stalks. Now that's the first time I've seen it mess up. <laughs> How about that? But we won't cry over that. But it's chugging along. It's a huge field. And, you know, I've got enough grass land around here to not have to use this. And I need money. So I had to borrow, finally, a little bit of money uh, just a little while ago to buy my mowers. So I did borrow $70,000, which isn't horrible. Okay? Not horrible. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, that's what's happening here on Great Western Extreme. And so I know there's, uh, I know there's people streaming. I stream, you stream, we all scream to stream streams. <laughs> so we'll just stream, and I'm going to be streaming for quite a while today, um, and just kind of hanging out. Kind of, uh, I don't know, much in a way our buddy like Julian runs an all day stream kind of thing. I'm going to go as long as I can, um, as long as I feel comfortable, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, because this is a big farm, lots of things to do. I'm still setting things up. Um, let me pull this trailer over here and park it. And now we'll head back to the farm area because we have the mowing going on. We have um, Harvesting Field 3 going on. 
I have put down the, um, oh, I went around now and I got the uh, plumbers coming to put in the water for the animals. And I got down my vehicle shed over here. And I put in the pellet shed and the uh, pellet, making pellet place. So we got that here. It comes with uh, the fertilizer, the seeds. Of course, here's our chaff silo. Here's where the horses go. These things are something. Dun, 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 dun. What are these? Oh, and I got a thing here. Carts things around. Oh, herbicide and fertilizer, liquid type, and uh, you know, uh, solid fertilizer. <laughs> Here's the gas. Uh, there's our silo. Ooh, ow, I ran into the tree. Boom, boom. That's all that's in there. Um, not going to be a multi fruit place. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of cloth equipment I sold off. This comes with a lot of John Deere stuff. You're going to hear lawn mowing in the background. Okay, <laughs> uh, my lawn mowing guy's here. So, if you hear that, that's what's going on. These headers of John Deere type are for this harvester here, the 790. And uh, what else? Well, we haul headers around on that. And I got the dump truck, and I got a big old cedar thing in my jig here. And we got a little dumper tractor there. What else we got? Da, 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 da. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So far, don't have any animals yet. Not ready for them. Um, okay, John, take care. Have a good one. So, uh, yeah, we'll see, you know, what's shaking out, man. So, let me think of the next thing I want to do. I think I'm going to go check on the lawnmower. There he is. That is so cool, laying out a path like that. We're recording this. Um, it will then be given a course name. Boy, listen to that wind. Uh, a course name. It'll be like uh, Grassfield 1, GF1, I'll call it for Grassfield 1 course. And uh, then I'll be able to pull that up. And without hiring a worker, it'll run. It's doing a real nice job. I'm surprised this is a worker. <laughs> it's recording. Okay, so it's, hell, the worker does a nice job. But this is going to be nice. I, it'll all be in there and I can, um, you know, have it all set up to uh, run automatically. All right, so well, let's find something else to do, man. Um, field number one is not ready. Last check. Nope. Uh, we've got. Let's take off of that and see. Oh, we need any lime out there too. A little late for all that. And it doesn't seem to be fertilized. Field one. Let me check that. If field one is not fertilized, then we can do that. Let's see. Boom. No, it's not. Wow. Okay. Well, we need to take care of that. Uh, let's just get us. Well, hell, I don't have. We don't have one. Mm hmm. I'm gonna need to get a sprayer. Let's get us whatever well, spreader. Maybe I'll just go with a spreader. Nah, we we'll get a sprayer. All right. Let's get a sprayer. I think so. This is a good one for here. <laughs> Boy, am I going to have enough money for that? Mm, barely. But I, I do have enough, I think. Yeah, narrow tires. I'm going to make it 40 meters. And then uh, that will stretch across there real. Ooh, 86. Ooh yep, that's going to take most of my money. But wow, that's, that's, ooh, that's rough. That is rough. Oh, crap. That's over here, isn't it? Ooh, I gotta go get that real quick. Because 
Um, I left that over here where they're mowing, I think. This is where I last <laughs> where I last had store delivery going on. And we don't want to have a problem with that. Yep, there it is, right over there. I don't want to jack out any of that up, but I've got it going really smooth right now. So let's get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. Okay. All right, and then maybe we can set up now a new course for this thing to do this feature. We're going to go over here and fill this up. Hey, late night with Bull. There he is. How you doing? I'm reporting you. And a honey bun ready before all live streams. <laughs> well, that sounds like, wow. That's a lot. That is a lot, buddy. Hey, I'm learning how to use this course play, buddy. And um, when I was there something in here or not. Shows liquid fertilizer. Huh. Do I have to like open it up or something? Or is it empty? I wonder if that thing is empty, that silo is empty. Well if it is, then I can't be using that. <laughs> I'll be killing that off. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Same thing over here, right? The herbicide. It's not going to work. Yeah, no. Nah. Wait a minute. Change pump direction to empty. What the hell is it talking about? What is it talking about, my friends? Turn on sprayer, unfold sprayer to emptying. Oh, I don't think we want to do that, do we? Well, I'll tell you what it is. I'm, I'm looking to use it on my big farms. And when you're playing by yourself on like, uh, okay, the farm I was on yesterday, um, bull would be a great one because I've got to lay those out though. I've got to record those because all the fences are in the way. But um, they are very big. It's a 4X map, very big fields, and it's just me. <laughs> It's just me, and I'm trying to keep up with everything and take care of the animals and a whole bit. So when you, you know, so if you're wanting to get everything done in a timely fashion, um, you know, then I think it comes in nice. You know, it's a handy thing because that way, you know, I can get something done. And maybe even in a, during a course of a couple of hours stream, I can get everything done I need to do on that farm for that day. You know, so I think it's a, I think it's going to be real handy. I've gone, looks, I've gone a year and a, over a year without it, because I was afraid of it. <laughs> Bull, you're crazy, man. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> God, I love you, man. All right, so I'm going to have to put down a damn thing to get my uh, fertilizer going here. So uh, I could just buy some pallets, I guess, but until I figure that out. That. I wonder if we got to fill that up. I'm going to have to ask Funny Farm Gaming about that. He made this. I'll ask him. If he comes in, I'll ask him. All right, so in the meantime, let's put the store here. I'm just going to buy. Let me get some pallets of stuff here. Uh, what's the best deal? 2800 for 3000 Oh, it's definitely better than that deal. Okay, so let's go with that. Yeah, that's a better deal. I'll get two of them. Oh, I don't have enough for two of them. Oh, man, I got to sell some corn. I got to sell corn. 
That's why we're harvesting that corn down there, man. Cause I gotta sell that. Okay, so here I got this here. Well, bloody hell! Is that all it is? Maybe I've got this thing wrong. Right here. Just a minute. Change it to Z. Change direction to Philly. Oh, this damn thing. What's going on? Now. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, there it started. Oh, but I turned it off. Yeah, I screwed it up, right? Z. Z. And now? Or no? Wow. I'm just really confused. Where do you got to be to fill this damn thing? <laughs> ah. It has started somewhere there. <clears throat> huh. What in the world? Oh, come <laughs> on, for the love of Pete. Come on. <clears throat> so now I'm confused about this little feature here where you got a stupid pump direction thing they got. I hate that because it is confusing. Hmm. I don't know what to do to get this dang thing to fill up. There. Holy moly. It must be that kind of this particular uh, pallet. Or I guess this, maybe it's just this uh, sprayer. Man. All right, so there's 3,000. That ought to get us going. So let's go down here. Jeez Louise. Now this would be interesting because, and right now I'm just setting all these up, you know. It doesn't mean I have to use course play every time, but... I am getting all these routes set up. And as I said, when you're playing this all by yourself, man, you need help. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. There's a lot of work, and to keep up and be on schedule for everything that needs to be done, then I say, yeah, you gotta, you gotta do this. So, I mean, you don't have to, but it, it comes in handy. All right. So, here we go. I'm gonna turn this on. I am going to do. Uh, I'm still learning here, but so I think I got it though. Uh, we're going to do fertilizing seeding, course generation, we're going to field one, headland none, right? And uh, current vehicle position, field center experimental, up, down, racetrack, spiral. Lands. Huh? Number of rows per land. Up, down. We'll do up, down. <laughs> and we got 40 meters. So generate the course. There you go. And back. And drive it. some lawn mowing out there that's going on outside oh look at that that is something else so boy how the heck are you feeling man see it's not getting that edge there huh. interesting now I selected no headland so I wonder if that's uh, why it's not going to the edge Is that why I did that? Hmm. I wonder if that's why I did that, because it actually should have gone to the edge there. Eh, 
I'm going to let it run. What the devil does it matter, really? Hey, look here, see? And this, I got a worker that's plotting out the course because this is a grass field. It's an actual field, but it doesn't have a number. So, again, uh, like I said, here you got this field here going, and you couldn't uh, have it run because uh, it didn't have a course. And it couldn't generate like this deal here. So, yeah, it looks like it's about done. Indeed, indeed. It got here just in time. Uh, stop, right? And what's it going to do? Keep going? I hope he stops. I hope he decides that's it. Yeah, I think so. Yep. See where he goes. I want to see where he goes, man. So I hope you're feeling good today, bull. The H seventy is slipping. Uh oh. Rut roll. That means it's stuck or something. Oh, okay, I found a little bit of field left here. <laughs> oh, they're on the edge. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Right along the edge. Hey, Zeke. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay, buddy. Hope you're doing well. You're going to go flying, yeah? I will. I'll see you. Thank you very much, Zeke. I'll catch you around, uh, uh, I'm sure, someplace. <laughs> Somebody stream later today, I'm sure. You have a safe flight. Appreciate you popping in, buddy. Hear a lot of wind through here, huh? <laughs> All right, now here's what I'm trying to figure out: how do you, how do you end this thing? Now, should just come a worker should just stop, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna hit uh, stop recording. Right there. Okay, and that's it. And we're going to save that as grass field one. There you go. Save. Bam. And boom. All right, cool. Hey, Zach, how you doing? Cheers to you, Zeke. Take care. Hey, Zach, what's going on, buddy? What do you know? How are you today? All right, so we use, that's cool, man. How you can just plot that out like that. That is awesome. Oh, now I got another field here we can do too, right? Oh, yeah. Is that my field? Oh, it is. Okay, well, I got another grass field here. Well, we're going to do this one then. Let me do this one. I'm learning. Uh, I just was. I'm just catching on there, uh, Zach, to. Uh... Oh, man. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, buddy. You as well. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. I'm learning course play today. Um, after a, a year and a couple months of playing this on a PC. I was scared to death of this thing. Uh, I was watching Funny Farm, uh, Funny Farm 
his uh, live stream replay this morning uh, from last night. And, and there was a section in there where he started talking about this and uh, showed somebody that was in there how to do this. So I just, it just kind of, he was he explained it very well, <laughs> frankly. So I'm, uh, this worked out very nice. Let me do this now. See if I can do this as well as we did on the other field. Okay, so you're going to do this. And first thing we're going to do is find the edge path, right? No, that's not what we're doing. Course generation. It won't do that. So back, back, back. I've got to do something else. Let's go one of these. Bear with me now. I got. I'm the, I'm the forgetful farmer. I got to remember what I did on the other field. Uh, field edge path number. No, no, no. What's this do? No. Over. No, 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 no. Cancel that. Wrong place. Cut course. Oh, here's what I want. Calculate the current field's edge path. That's what I want. Maybe I need to pull up, do I? Okay. Hang on, let me pull up here. Let me get on the field. Okay. Now, there it is. That's the one. Okay. Very good. All right, now we're going to back up. I'm going to start recording and hit a worker. And it should plot this field out just like it did the other one. Voila! <laughs> oh, man, I'm loving that. Now, I don't care where you're from. That's good stuff. Wow, that is going to be so cool. Cause see, I got see as you can see on the left, I've got two other items I need to be addressing, and now I got the guy mowing, and I know I ain't going to worry about it. Man, this is cool. And I got to sell some corn. I have one thousand two hundred and ninety-five dollars. <laughs> That's all I got. And then this feature here is the one I really like, man, is that you can turn on crop destruction here because this thing is programmed to, as you see, it's sitting off of where it was running, and it does that so that you don't have to drive in the crop. So you don't have to get up in that corn. It gives you a way in and a way out. And I missed the exact spot I need. Here we go. Try again, and boom, there we go. Cool. Yeah, I can dig this. These giant 4X maps when I'm working by myself, man, this is gonna be a real help. Now once this thing fills up, then I gotta get out of its way. Then it'll get itself back on course. No, no doubt, man. Oh, I gotta get out of this guy's way. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, I got into it there. All right, get out of the guy's way. Now I'm at 97%, so. You're right, Zach, we need corn, right? So I'm gonna get in position here and uh, see what happens. I wanna see if this works. I, I, I made a, re a path uh, for this thing to make it. Well, I guess I should figure out, make sure it's still the, the top uh, place here I wanna go for corn. Yeah, barely. Well, actually, no, it's not. 
I was looking at the wrong thing. Hang on. 6, 7, 20, 8, corn. Here we go. Yeah, so it's still the same. Still the same. So, we're going to tag it again just so I make sure uh, we don't get lost. And uh, now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to sell this corn, man. So, we're going to get some money from that. I, I borrowed a little bit of money, but I don't want to borrow more than I have to. So, we'll go up here. And get into position to where I started it the last time. You can see the beam over there. That's where it's got to go. There it is, a green beam in the sky over there. That's how you know. But I started right over here. This is the way out. <laughs> okay, so it stops here. Now, boom, we're going to do a... Uh, Got to get a course here. Manage courses. Jacob's Grains. No, that's not what we want. This is now, this is what I got to figure out what to do. Start course recording. Copy course. Oh, here we go. No, we're not copying a course. Um, hmm. How do I figure out how to get to where we're going? Grain transport. Okay, I should be able to load. Oh, right here, right? Oh, it's that thing. It's that bloody thing. Wait, that says cop, no course loaded. Empty. We'll figure it out, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm still learning, man. Hang on. Hang on. I've got a dead gum thing here. Why can't I figure it out? Jacob's Grains. Oh, what's this? A pin course at the end. What does this do? What does this do? Load. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Then we go back. Got the thing. Drive the course. Woo. Took me a minute to figure that out. Sorry about that. All right. So it knows where to go. And so I'm going to let it go. <laughs> And that should go, and it's actually going to dump that corn and come back. <laughs> we'll see if it works. If it works the way I had it set up, man. That's going to take that corn, go sell it, and come back. We'll check in on it periodically to see. Uh, well, it'll tell me if it's got problems. Where is this uh, 830 at? There it is. Oh, the daggum tree. See? There you go. There you go. Yep. So that's not working. Of the dadgum trees. All right, let's stop the driver. Stop the driver. Hmm. Yep, that's the problem when you go with these big long sprayers. Hmm. see if I can <laughs> figure something out here. Looks like that truck is maybe <laughs> horsing around a little bit. Okay, let's try it this way and see what happens. I don't know. Maybe it'll work if I set it up differently here. Oop. 
let's see, I don't know. Okay, if I put it here. And course generation. Generate fuel course. Oh wait, headland. What a short edges means. Let's try that. Okay. All right. Maybe that'll work. Yeah. What the hell? Let's see if that works. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. That might work. Well, I got some neighbors that just... <laughs> Sticking their nose where it don't belong. Okay. Anyhow, my wife's going out. Take care of that. Poor guy. Now. As I was saying, uh, you know what? I'm going to leave this running. I got to go tend to something. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, sorry for the silence. Woo, man. Well, I had to go out and straighten out a couple of neighbors. We're uh, messing. I got a yard guy, and they're out there messing with them. I had to go. <laughs> I had to go run them off. Run off the neighbors. Boy, old people are really weird. Now, with that being said, He seems to be running this thing good now, fertilizing. Did the cat truck make it back? Oh, no, he did not. <laughs> Oops. He almost made it all the way back. He got stuck on this tree. Darn. Just cut that corner a hair too quick. All right, well, that ain't bad, though, but I got to fix that. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to fix that. Wow. Jackknife around the tree. Okay. Okay, and then we're back here. <laughs> All right, well, it almost worked. It almost worked, man. Uh, let's see, I gotta do this. And how do I, how do I do this now? Boom, right? Yeah, there it is. All right, oh, it didn't dump the corn. Ah. Oh. Crap. All right, so all I did was drive. <laughs> Over there and back. Dang, all right. I'm, I'm in negative numbers. Shoot. Well, I'm going to have to figure that out. Meanwhile, I got to get over there and sell this now because I need money. Okay. Oop, 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 oop. Get back over here and dump the corn. We'll be in business.
All right, so we sold the corn. We got 48,000 bucks, however long that lasts. I think the course play is costing me a little money. As I try to sail back here and get to, uh, oh, back to the combine. Boy, so this thing went over. It didn't dump. So I've got to redo that route and make sure it figures in the dump. And I can go this way to get back to that field quicker. So let's go this way. All right, I'll redo that route and uh, see if we can't make that happen. Yep. Yeah, you see, first of all, you start right down here because uh, it's faster. <laughs> Then it won't have to encounter that tree. Yep, wouldn't even have to encounter the tree. There we go. Now. Oops. spot. There it is. Oh, what a morning. Hope you're having a good day out there. Uh, we're at the one hour and a minute mark of the Great Western Extreme from Pony Farm Gaming. Episode one of a new Let's Play series as I re- Re, uh, re what? Redo this map second time around. Mm. Let me get out of his way. Leave that there, just like that. Uh, okay, I did get a little bit of a chaff <laughs> when I was screwing around with the porridge harvester here, uh, but we'll come back to doing that later. That'll be another episode when we, after we regrow all this corn, I guess. Weed eaters and. You hear that outside? That's the weed eater. Boy, it's working good starting where I started this time. All right, so now we know where to start. Meanwhile, lawn mowing guy's doing a good job. So I like that. And we still are awaiting field one, which is a ways off, it looks like. Yeah. God, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's almost ready. Let's see what time it is on the farm. Is um, farm time's uh, two eleven in the afternoon. So I don't know. It might might come to fruition there. I don't know. I don't know. Fifty percent fertilized now. So that's something that got by me there. I did not know. Um, that that was the case there. So anyhow, at least uh, we got 50% fertilizer on it. Might help it out a little bit. So yeah. All right, so uh, 47,000 and dwindling. <laughs> These old neighbors I got, you should see them. They are a trip. They're like vultures, man. Nosy, nosy, nosy. Mm. We'll 
Well, guys, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be uh, working this up. I'm going to be uh, a little quiet here for a little bit because I'm going to leave the stream up uh, once we get some other things going on. But uh, currently, uh, we're just harvesting and learning course play and laying it all out, setting up the courses. And so, uh, you know, that's kind of what's going on. So we're just hanging out, seeing if everybody comes around, wants to visit about anything. And uh, so, yeah. Hope you're having a good day. I'm uh, going to mute the mic, and uh, I'm here if you all want to talk. Thanks for joining. Another tree. Rats. Another tree. All right, so let's see where we are. <laughs> Is that the same tree you got stuck on the last time? Might be. Let's see if I can cut that a little better. Nope. Ah, crud. Now backwards. How much more is there to go? I mean, I'll be about done, yeah? Let's see. Crap, I guess we'll go this way. Turn it around this way. How's that? Yeah. Let's take a look at the field and see. <laughs> Where are we with this fertilizing action? Oh, wait, you gotta turn this off and this off. Okay, now we can see. Huh. All right, so he just needs to go currently. Hmm. I think we ought to be able to straighten this up, turn it on, and just kind of head down this way. Let's see if I can do this on my own here. <laughs> Let's see if we can just do this on our own. Finish it up. On this section and then still got that other section to go I may just uh, sit here and do this myself I mean why not I gotta do something gotta do something around here Still missed a little bit back there, didn't I? See if I can finish this up here now. Yeah, I think this will work.
Okay, we got that. Now turn around. <laughs> I thought it did all that already. Yeah. Now, I think... Hey, Matt, how you doing, buddy? Oh, you're on vacation? Hey, that's nice. That is nice. I hope you're doing well, buddy. I've been learning how to mess around. I've been trying to learn how to mess around with this course play. Um, had a couple of problems running into trees. And I'm going to try to reconvene this here. No! Ah. See, I don't know. <laughs> Not spring right now. I just don't want him to go get back into that tree he was stuck in a minute ago. All right, maybe he won't. He's hitting a little here and there with it. <laughs> so what's new uh, besides being on vacation, Matt? What do you got? A big plans? You gonna go fishing? What you gonna do, Matt, when you're on vacation? Oh, look at this guy starting to go in circles. That's not good. That's never good. Huh. Well, it seems to be redoing what I just did. Which I don't get. Huh. Interesting. Fishing and camping at the Roaring River State Park, just south of Cassville. Okay. I know where that is. Cool. Well, I know that's going to be fun, man. Boy, would I love to go do that. That would be fantastic. Yes, indeed. I'm curious, this guy. And my driving course that I made, it made the round uh, going to and back from a cell point, but I forgot to put in the stop and dump command, so I have to redo that. And it jackknifed around a tree on the way back, so. Yeah, it looks like he's headed back over to where he needs to go. You can see where he's needing to go. So let's stop just waiting to see uh, how this goes. Again, I, I was scared to death of using this thing, and uh, Funny Farm Gaming helped me understand it when I was watching a replay of his stream from last night. There was a section he did about this, and I thought, well, maybe I can do that. So, anyhow, I've really uh, come to enjoy what I'm doing with it so far. And uh, I was telling Bull earlier, that, uh, he was asking, well, why, if you're going to have a computer do it, why do it? But I'm just wanting to set everything up today, and then I'll be doing stuff, and course play will be doing other stuff that needs to be done at the same time. You know what I mean? You can't run one of these 4X maps by yourself and stay on target. Uh, stay on schedule. It just ain't going to work. <laughs> oh, please don't go get wrapped up in that tree again, buddy. The heat and humidity. Yeah, but hey, you know that's there. <laughs> that's there every year. Summertime. In Missouri. Oh, the, uh, all right, I got to leave you there, tractor, so don't get stuck again. And here, Matt, I'm, uh, this is a grass field that is, uh, this one here. Oh, no, this one here, yeah. Uh, it's an unmarked grass field, you know, it's not numbered. And so it couldn't plot, of course, play could not plot it out, so... I instead have uh, done a rec I'm recording it, but I'm, I had a worker. And so we're recording this, and as you can see, it's plotting automatically for me a course 
uh, to use later for this field for mowing. And this will be uh, grass field number two is what this course will be called. And uh, so I'm just fascinated with how cool this is, man. Now I gotta get back and dump the uh, harvester again. It's this ginormous field of corn, but it's cool because I need money. So we're just gonna keep on plugging away here and see if I can make money faster than I spend it. We were down to negative numbers. I was down nine, negative 936 I was showing. <laughs> I didn't even know you could end up in negative numbers. So now we got uh, 46 grand after one trailer full of corn saved us there a little bit. And this trip over, when we get the time to go over, ah, uh, right, when it gets time to go over, then, uh, oh yeah, and that's the other thing, Matt, this thing, you see how this thing pulls off the path it was on? And so that way you can have crop destruction on, you don't have to drive into the crop. So that's pretty cool too. Oh boy. Yeah, see a lot of fields and it's 4X, you know, so you're like, come on, you cannot keep up with all this. Uh, I've played it before and had the same problem. And you just, you know, you get wore out trying to keep up with everything. So this way I'll be able to expand out on the map. Own more property. You know, you can own more property if you got time to do everything. So having this all plotted out is gonna help. You know, and then when you're doing Let's Plays, like I'm doing, then um, it'll quite easily, uh, you know, run smoothly. See, now he gets back in line or whatever. It takes off. He, they miss a couple of stalks each time they do that, but uh, which is fine. But that is cool. Uh-oh, now the tractor's slipping again. It's caught up on something, evidently. I, I bet I found that stupid tree again. Oh, man. It, see, it keeps wanting to go that way instead of long ways. I wish I knew how to stop that. Dang, gummit. It keeps wanting to go back and forth. Oh, because I know that's the way it generated. Yeah, I saw it on the generation. That's how it showed. So, yeah. The only way that's going to work that direction is if I cut these trees down. Which I can do. Oh, crap. Which I can do. I mean, it kind of I hate cutting all the trees down because it just... Hmm. I think I need to regenerate this field. I wonder if I can do that from another perspective. Hmm. Let me try that. I'm going to go move this down here. And we're going to see about redoing the way this is drawn up. You know? Regenerate the path it should be on. Oops, I got to plug in my uh, headset. Mirror cord. Hang on, guys. There, man, I couldn't. <laughs> couldn't get it in there. Now, let me pull up in here. I'm just going to stop right here. And we are going to do course generation. Field one, short edges, generate. He's wanting to go up and down this way. I want it to go this way. Huh. Southwest new? Huh, 
still wants to go that <laughs> wants to go that way. Starting in direction. Headland passes. Overlap. Uh, field center up and down. Racetrack. Spiral. Lands. Number of rows per land. Or up and down. Huh. Well, sun we're going. Southwest travel, northwest travel. Let me try that. Nope. Northeast. Yeah, that's a little different, but not much. Southeast. Select position on the map. Rats. Nope. I ain't it. See, I'm still learning, man. <laughs> Last used position, southwest new. One more time, guys. Hmm. Oh, that's a little different, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work this way. I think I'm going to have to probably. Hmm. All right, let me uh, let's just turn that off. I'm going to have to finish this one up, and uh, I mean I can get a worker to do this easier. You know what I'm saying? At this stage of the game, because uh, ain't that much in the way. Hey, there's Funny Farm. And add a second headland. Ah, oh, okay, there's the boss. Change to long edges on the headlands. Okay, thank you, sir. There he is. I didn't see you come in, funny farm. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I see I was watching your stream from last night this morning. I was watching a replay. And I've never used this, so you made it quite simple to understand, except for this right here. I guess I didn't do right. Oh, let me get back in position uh, that I want to be in. Can you, hey, fun, hey, funny farm, can you start in the middle of a field? You can't, can you? Because, see, all I got left is that. See, you see where I got left. And I can't, uh, but I guess I got to be on the edge of the field, don't I? It keeps getting jammed up on the trees. You've been yelling at the screen. Oh, God. That's funny. So, all right, so I got to go back to the edge of the field, right? All right, so here I go. Uh, back to the edge. Okay, here's the edge. All right, now, course generation, we're going to do headland around narrow field, short edges. I don't have long edges. Uh, oh, no, but I, no, I'm not. I could get there. You want to come in on the voice on uh, Discord, buddy? We can do that. Let me go in there. Give me one second. I'll fire that up, buddy. Okay, we're going to go here to here. Okay, I'm in here, and then I'm going to have to. 528-5634 said, where are you stuck? Uh-oh, where are you stuck? Hang on a minute. Let me turn off the uh, notifications. Just for the selected channel. There we go. Okay, now I think, um, Chris, you'll see on my channel it says YouTube and Twitch streams, but I think i got to send an invite to you. Yeah, invite people. Here we go. Uh, i got to find you on the list. do it like that okay I'm gonna do it here I'm gonna do a direct message to you Chris uh, boom, 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 boom. here 
Okay, there's a, a link there in the um, Chris in the deal there. Direct direct message. And uh, yeah, so if you come in there, you can get on the voice. That's how it's supposed to work. Oh, you're in general. Come down to the YouTube and Twitch stream. I sent you an invite in the... Uh, or may, let me just go to general. Hell with it. Hang on. I'm, I'll make it easy on you. Let me just get in there. Let me leave here. And I'll come here. There I am. Can you hear me? I don't know if I... I can't hear you, Chris. Can you hear me? Hello, Chris. Uh-oh. Let me go back to the stream. Uh, I'm in your general. Yeah, I just went there, too. They don't seem to be going. And why is that? Huh. Can you hear me now? Oh, there you are. Sorry, my mixer pulled this. My, every now and again, my mixer loses its mind. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I know what you mean. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm okay, man. How you doing? Well, <laughs> I was fighting with the neighbors a little bit ago. I, had to... <laughs> I left the stream uh, running. I went outside. I had to... I had two nosy neighbors in my yards messing with my lawn mowing guy. So I had to go out and set them straight and tell them to get off my lawn. <laughs> you got to fix that, right? Yeah, well, they don't let you shoot people here. But so I have to... <laughs> rock salt, man. If you use rock salt in the shotgun, it's not lethal. Right? I know. No, it's, it's all right. I got it now to where they won't talk to me again. So they're pissed off real good. So, nice. <laughs> so now I don't have to worry about them. Ah, oh, that's just so annoying. It's like, why are you over here screwing around with my guy? You know? I'm like, yep. go to your yard and mind your business. I live in a 55 and over community, so you can imagine... Oh, good Lord. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So anyhow, you know, everybody knows a better way. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, well, back to this. So I, I was I'm getting looking, tired of yelling at the screen. So I'm glad you. I'm glad you're here, man. All right. When you when you are generating a course that you have a lot of trees along the edge of the field, there's a couple of things. First, your starting location on the on the um, field can can alter the way the lines run. Right. The other thing is, you can um, you can add more headlands going around the field. If you do the short edge, it's only going to do a headland on each end, right? Okay. But if you do it around, and what I always try to do is, especially like if I've got something that's large like that, that I know when it starts those short edge uh, lines, it's going to need room to turn. Yes. I'll, I'll give it an extra headland. Okay. So, so two passes of an around setting? Yeah, try try it with two around it and see what happens. Okay. You may find it. I remember you saying that in your stream last night. Now, now that you mentioned it. The other thing you can um, the other thing you can do. We were you were talking about where you can start on the field. Yes. Once the course is generated, and you pull your HUD up, there's a it, it, when it said when you say start worker or start. Yes. Whatever it says, drive now or whatever. Yep. Uh, there. To the right of that, there's an option for start at the beginning, start at the nearest waypoint. Yes, start. or start at the current location, so right? If you you can if you start at the current location, it will start where you're at. But if you wanted to go to a point on the field where everything else is done, but there was a section that wasn't done, you could drive to that section and then switch that to start at the nearest waypoint, and it will start at the waypoint right in front of the vehicle. Oh, okay. So it basically, can start midway through. All right, now this you is don't. this is what is generated for me now, um, with the two around headland, two time around. It's changed it now to this. Yeah, and the stream's a little behind, so just just give me a second. Oh, okay, yeah. It's YouTube. What is it like? Thirty second delay on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure. Now see, it's still going the, the short lines, but yeah. but you probably have room to, for it to turn on the ends now. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm just trying to keep it from hitting the edges or hitting the tree yeah. along the edge because I don't want to cut out the trees because um, they look nice. 
Yeah, that's, I mean, you probably will be fine with that. I would try that and see how that goes. But I'll bet you that turns now. All right, so now having already done all this, when, if I start right here, is it going to find this area that it needs to spray, or is it going to try to respray the whole it's field? It's going to spray the whole field. All right. So the best, best thing you could do would be to go to your menu that shows what's sprayed and what isn't, drive to where it's not sprayed. Right here, and then do from where I'm at. Gotcha. And then say go from the from a, you know, a see like right yeah. now you've got start a current waypoint or yep. you can say start at next waypoint. Either right. Or. Okay. Cool. See, I got something sticking up in the air here. I don't even know what that is. What was that? That was oh, that was a stop sign. <laughs> what? There's a stop sign in the middle of the field there. What's that one from? Oh, that's where the that's where the course ends. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. It's going to show you the beginning and the end of the course. There should be a start sign and a stop sign. Interesting. Okay. So yeah. just keep going forward here. It looks like I'm right about where I need to be. If you want to see where the course is laid out, click the little eyeball on the uh, HUD. Do, 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 do. On the upper left corner of the HUD. It'll pop up a... Um, oh, right here. Oh, cool. Not the X, the eyeball. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, stream's a little behind, so it's hard to... Yeah, like that. Yeah. You get it? Nice up, caught up. Oh, okay. This is like tape delay. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So it kind of gives you a, an overview of where you're at in the course. And, you know... Cool. I like that. Oh, now there's that. That shows me the lines and how it's going to go. Okay. Yep. And yep. you can do Where that we? or that and turn it off. Okay, cool. Yep. Current waypoint. Drive course. Let's see if this fixes it for you, but it should. I think it'll no, that's the awesome. See, I've been scared to death of course play. And like I said, I've had this PC now over a year, and I've, I've uh, never tried course play until I heard you explain it. I've watched well, other awesome. videos. I've watched other videos, and I, um, I just never, still don't get it after watching your video. But I, you just made it very simple sounding, and I'm like, oh well, boom, there you go. I said, I think I can do that, and so here we are. So far, pretty good, you know. I mean, I figured a lot of this stuff out just uh, from what you had said, and it seems it's not that complicated once you get going. Yeah, that's what I was saying last night. You know, um, I think that's what I was saying. I was pretty tired by the end there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it. Oh, that. I, I totally feel like people. Yeah, because it hasn't gotten to where it's gonna. Well, wait a minute now. Why is it not spraying? Yeah, not spraying. Are you in the right mode? Stop your driver for a minute and check your mode. Make sure you're in uh, fertilizer. Oh yeah, I don't think I am, am I? If you're not in the right mode, it won't it won't spray. Crap. Where's it? Oh, up here, right? Course play control. If you just stop, if you hit stop driver, it'll come up on the bottom of the along the bottom edge. Yeah, I think I'd stop the driver. And then... Oh, you're in fertilizer. That, that is fertilizer mode. Why is it not working? Huh. Do it's I have to turn it on? You might have to. But you shouldn't have to. Huh. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Try turning it on before you start your course. Yeah, I just did that. I just did that. Now it's. Uh, I've never seen it do that. Here she goes. Yeah, it's spraying now. But now it's, it's a little off course now, probably. But or maybe no, it's not. It's right where it was going to go. Huh, how yeah, about that? It's a practice thing. It really is. It's a yeah. practice. Thing, but. Yeah, but it's going the way it said it was going to go. Remember, I, it's, it said it was going to go back and forth this way. So we're good. Yeah, cool. It's like I was explaining, uh, I was asked a question about, well, why do you want to let your PC run 
the farm. I said, like, you might as well, you know, you're not doing it. I said, well, I am doing it because I'm setting this all up, first of all. Right. And then secondly, when you're on a 4X map by yourself and trying to do a stream and trying to get everything that needs to be done done, you can't be there for everything and get everything done in the time that you want to get it done. Well, so this comes in real handy, man. I'm, I'm really happy I decided to go ahead and try this because uh, I'm just, I think it's really neat. And then this here, I was really proud of myself here. <laughs> now, I don't know if you, I'll give it a second for you to catch up. These grass fields. Yeah. I pulled up to it, hit start recording, and hired a worker. And now, and now... I have a course. There's another way to deal for with the that field. Too, a little more. You know, because it's yeah, not a numbered yeah. field. It wasn't a numbered field, so it won't automatically do it. But well, uh, there, is, there is a way to do it, and I, I'll have to show you on stream some night because uh, it's a little bit convoluted. But there is a way to do it that actually you can generate an edge, for, and then assign that edge. Yeah, that's what I did. I assigned the edge, and then I then I just hired a worker. And I started recording. And hired a worker, and now I end up with this. Yeah. Well, you, and you you got it. I mean, what you did will work. But uh, if you if you generate the field edge and save that field edge, yes, as a as a number that doesn't exist in the map, now yeah. that field has a number, and you can use the automatic generation. Oh, so right here where I'm looking at field edge path number, I'm going to change that right here where it says plus. Yeah. So pick a number that's not in the map. Uh, how far do you go? Oh, well, shoot. Uh, what map? Do you, you don't? I don't know how far up the numbers go here. Uh, I think they go to around twenty. So, you, do you have oh, they, do you have twenty five? Like twenty five or something. Okay, here's twenty five. Add field 25's edge to the path list. It'll tell you if it's a field that already exists, it'll say, do you want to replace the field? Okay. So, so it, it yeah, it added right. it right there. Yep. Okay, so, so now when I look at the map, well, it's still... You don't have to record it at that point. You can do an automatic generation for oh. it. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's neat. Yeah, it's cool for grass fields and that kind of stuff. Okay, so now how do I get the... Okay, so this is done. Now I gotta get that. I gotta save that. That's what I wanna do. So let me get back to... Manage courses. I'm gonna... S this here, we're gonna save. Where's the save? You already saved it. You put it in the field edge. Oh, oh you, if you want to save oh, no, the this course. One, this you, course. Your recording's not stopped. You got to stop your recording before you can. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, the big stop the big button does this. It looks like you got a grass field. Right it's extremely, you know, but it's a practice thing. It really. Oh, there. Is. Stop the recording. Okay, there we go. Now save it here. Okay, so this is, uh, what do we call it? Field edge 25. 25. Well, when you when you added it manually yeah. to the field edges, you, you don't even need to save that course now. You can just do an auto generation. Cool. That is it neat. Show up as a field in your list of fields now. Huh. That is cool. Well, without having known that, I'm still feeling pretty good that I was able to get something in there. <laughs> Yeah, it isn't so as those, uh, as, those as complicated as people think it is. Yeah, it's not as, not as, I don't have to be afraid of it. I'm now I'm seeing it's, uh, because that was basically the deal. I was just scared to death I was going to screw something up. Well, and I'll tell you what, from, from my, so I started out using course play back in FS13. Yeah. I watched every single tutorial video that the creator made on it. And I, at one point, I could make this thing do things. It was unbelievable. But wow. the, it's not the same creator now. Somebody else took it over in 15, rebuilt it. So it's a totally different way that it works now. Oh, so we had to relearn it. Oh, I see. And so 15 and 17 have been 
kind of on this, but 19, we've lost a couple pieces of functionality and we've gained some functionality. And uh -huh. so you, it's this whole thing all the time. You just, oh, cool. It's like constantly learning. Hey, t we got some people dropped in. T I'm sorry, Tiny and Farmer Men. How you doing, guys? Lunatic, how you doing, man? What is going on, fellas? Welcome along. I'm in the uh, chat here with uh, my good friend Chris over at Funny Farm Gaming. And uh, I've been learning today how to use course play. <laughs> and I've been scared to death of it. And Chris did a stream last night over on Twitch. And uh, y'all have subscribe to or follow him over there go over to twitch and follow him over there uh chris you can pop your links in here if you want and then they can follow that um so anyhow funny bone how you doing buddy so i'm learning how to do the course play and it's been fun and then uh chris was on here and, and told me you know and was lucky i was lucky he showed up and uh, he's helping me out with some things Oh, hey, there you go. Over on uh, Twitch, you guys, go check out uh, Chris at Funny Farm Gaming. He made this map. Farmer Men and uh, Tiny, how you doing, man? <laughs> that is cool. So, uh, I got a question. Do you see what I'm looking at here? Um, those silos? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, functional? Yeah, they buy what well, they're for buying, they're buy points. Because I pulled up here with the sprayer and nothing happened uh, on either one of them. So I don't know if it's my sprayer. I didn't know if it was the sprayer or what. But I didn't get a cue to do anything. Do you have, um, do you have admin? Do you have the uh, console active in your game? Console? I don't know what you mean, probably. The developer's console? Oh, yeah, I do, yeah. Um, step, step. Step back from those and hit F5 for me. I can tell you if there's some triggers there or not. Oh, okay, cool. Should be there, though. Once the stream catches up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lunatic, I am, buddy. How you getting along, man? You and the family, us, um, I jumped on a hurt part of your uh, stream uh, yesterday. Time gets away from me. I think it was yesterday. <laughs> Lunatic. See, you're going over to shooting games. So that's cool. Yeah, the triggers are there. I can see them. You, you can see the them. yellow boxes in front of the silos? Yes. Those are the triggers. Oh, okay. Right. To get rid of that, you have to hit F5. Like... So the box, two, two, the two, yellow three. box, I'm just picturing where this is. The yellow box is, okay, I see that trigger. They're great. Oh, that's a big old trigger, yeah. Yeah, they're big triggers. Okay, well. So if, you're, if, you're, if your thing didn't fill up off them, it's because the, the. Something wrong with the sprayer, yeah. Yeah. Cool, all right, so hit F5. You have to hit it like three times to clear it out. Because it's got several functions. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> there. All right. You'll know because if you can see your lights. Yeah. See a physical representation of your light. It's on. Yep. That, then it's still not clear. All right. So I'll check that out next time we pull up in here with my sprayer. Uh, if the guy's doing any good, let's see how he's doing out there. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I got this guy waiting too. Let's go back. <laughs> This is a big cornfield, man. Field three. My gosh. That's a lot of corn, but I need the money. So uh, this is good because I'm hauling it over. I had a route all lined out with this. I did a route, um, but it didn't dump. I thought I had it set to dump, mm -hmm. uh, but I guess I didn't do it quite right. But it did make the trek over there and back as I had recorded it. And... Um, but it, and it almost made it all the way back until right at the very end, down at the bottom road there, where the way I was bringing it in, um, not this end, but down on the other end, I was bringing it into the main farm and it jackknifed around the tree down there. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo it. But that's fine. I'm gonna redo it and figure out how to uh, make it dump. I think I know how, because um, when I did discover that, I think it was just too late in the recording. 
So I think I got to redo uh, that. Well, I I did make a mistake last night, and I don't know if you were still on. Them. You discovered that, but the in order to get it to dump there, you have to make sure you got it set to stop at the next trigger. Yes. Yes. And, then, uh, and that's I didn't do put, that right. You can put a pause point right there when you cross the trigger so that it'll, it'll pause. Yes. And give it time to empty. Otherwise, it won't empty. Yep. It'll start to empty, but it will, won't get empty before it drives away again. Exactly. Yeah, and I saw that command, um, but it was after the fact. So yeah. I'll have to redo it. Maybe we'll do that on I, here. <laughs> I, yeah, um, Funny Bone, how you been, I buddy? Have, I haven't done very many transport missions uh, in a, probably a couple of uh, transport route routes in a couple of years. Oh, okay. So I, I've been trying to. I use it for all my field work, but I very seldom use it for transporting grain. And I've been trying to kind of get back to that, but that's what last night I was like, wait, I'm missing something. What did I forget here? <laughs> oh, 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 man. So, you know, even as much time as I've used it, if you don't use it, you can forget things. It just takes a little time to work it out. Right. Once you get the bugs out, man, it works. Yeah, and, and like I said, for trying to, uh, you know, I do these Let's Plays, and um, when I do them, you know, I, I'd like to be able to get everything done in a, without having to stream for six hours to get it done, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, <laughs> I'd like to have at the most two hours and get several things accomplished within that time frame that all coordinate the whole farm and uh, boom, then you're done and you end your stream and you're out, you know, and I would like it to work like that. I, I think I can get it that way now that I have this. And yeah, it makes uh, it, and it makes it where you can go out and buy some more property because I got two fields, man. I mean, that's all I'm running here. <laughs> yeah. And it's, and it's know, a I challenge. The, I told the guys in the stream last night to, you know, do exactly what you're doing. Start with field work. Yes. And keep playing with it until you get it all worked out in the field work. And once you feel comfortable about how to make it work for you in the fields, yeah. then you can continue to expand on what you're doing with it until you feel really comfortable with all the functions. Exactly. And that's my plan that's here. It's just, I said, let me get on this nice big map. Because I, I went over to the mystery farm and tried it. And it was working okay for a little bit. Um, but I ran into a problem with those little barbed wire fences. Uh, oh, good Lord. The header on the harvesters kept wanting to bump into that. So I've got to learn my way with that. Yeah. It's a... Uh, yeah, Lunatech, you're right. Is that, and especially, you know, my voice doesn't hold out as long anymore. Um, I just don't have the pipes to go um, those six-hour streams anymore. I did it. I used to do, man, I, my record's 13 hours uh, on a live stream. And I did that on a multiplayer map with my old buddy, uh, Original Trucker Gaming. <laughs> and man, we were on a long time, and I, I couldn't even begin to do that now. My my uh, voice just won't hold up, and I'm getting hoarse already. So, <laughs> so like I said, two hour stream that would be good. Lunatic was pointing out one, one and one and a half to two hours is about the sweet spot. Yeah, but you went pretty long last night. We, we was four hours or something, right? Oh, uh, what me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was actually, yeah, it was more than that by the time I, I mean, yeah, you were on quite a while. It's, it's a little different. When I was on YouTube, when I first started out, two hours was our normal stream. Yes. Two, 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 two and a half hours. But, and we, per, it, it didn't take long before, uh, we started kind of expanding that. But when you, when you move to Twitch, a lot of the, a lot of the Twitch streams are longer, uh, 95% of them. And not all of them, but, but a good percentage of them are four hours. Or more. Right. Uh, it's just something different on the platform. So I've gotten uh, very accustomed to that. To me, a normal stream is four hours. If I don't do four hours, I, I feel like I haven't completed the whole stream. Oh, okay. But, uh, you know, a lot of times I'll go six or even eight. Yeah. Depends on how I feel. Yep. That's the way I used to do I used to be on long hours, and uh, my pipes just don't let me do it much. <laughs> I went four or I went six hours uh, a week a couple of weeks ago. I had yeah, a yeah. six-hour stream on No Man's Land, and uh, I was shocked myself on that. Sometimes I think you get caught up in what you're doing, right, in the map or in the game, and then it doesn't. All of a sudden, you go, "Oh my gosh, it's been four hours already." Yeah. You, know, you don't even realize it. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, the time does go very quickly. Yeah, you're right, lunatic. Yep. Used to get lost in the time. That's what he's just saying. Yep. You get uh, nine to ten hours out there before you even know it. That happens to me here. Um, and that's, that's actually what I love about the game. As we, you know, I'm sitting here, can't go outside unless I got to go yell at the neighbors. And then I got, uh, <laughs> otherwise, I'm sitting inside and um, pretty much stuck, right? So it's, it's just so nice, um, you know, to have this game to pass the time. And then I got all my friends here that you see here, uh, including yourself. And, and it's just nice to, you know, sit around. And have this to pass the time, man. I would go nuts, you know, if I, if I didn't have you all in this game, man. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you there, man. Yeah. Hey, Farmer Men, you still in here, buddy? I didn't mean to pass over to Farmer Men when he popped in. I know he's a busy guy. Farmer Men, you still there, buddy? I'm going to try to catch up with him, man. I can keep. He, he pops in and then he, he you know he pops in to say hello because he's 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 got a farm he's trying to run, and Tiny's working with him there. How you doing, Tiny? You there? I hope you guys are doing well. I didn't mean to pass over you guys. I'm just trying to learn this stuff, and Chris is good enough to come in here and show me the way. Yeah, this is a great map, and now that I have the proper map. The first one I had is, you might remember, didn't have cell points. And then Chris told me, wait, there's cell points on this map. Yeah. I said, no, there's no cell points. I had to put them all on. He goes, well, then you don't have my map. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, it was, at a, I guess, I don't know, somebody had posted an early, 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 early version, maybe. Yeah, somebody must have leaked that in our early I got it off of modhub.us, I remember that. And I streamed it for quite a number of times. I even had, I, I even multiplayed it with uh, Mr. T-Bone a couple times, you know. Yeah. Well, that's one of the favorite places for the quote-unquote mod leaker. But I'm on of you as. Yeah. I, I yeah. throw a temper tantrum now and quit. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Message to leader. Well, you were right, Lunatic. I don't know why you deleted your message, buddy, but you were spot on. Lunatic deleted his, all of his messages. How come? Well, that's weird. Streamlabs got him. Bob got him. Oh, how come? I don't know. Did he say something? Was well, he should have, uh, he should be a moderator. Oh, uh, Lunatic, hang on, man. I don't know what happened here while you're not a moderator. Let me pop up this thing here. Hang on. He should be a moderator, man. Dang. Well, that ain't cool. Let's see. It was timed out for one second by Streamlabs for spamming symbols. Oh, Christ. Sorry, buddy. And I'll yeah, make I'll, just, I'll get you uh, your wrench, man. I thought, why didn't he have a wrench? Crap's sake! All right, there, lunatic. I don't know why you weren't. You should have been. My apologies, buddy. Dang! And he, what he said was cool. Lunatic, you there, buddy? <laughs> Sorry, man. Spamming symbols. I've never seen that happen before. Tiny, I'm glad you're doing well, buddy. I hope everything's good up your way. Even former men hard at it, I guess. Dang, lunatic! I hope you're back. I hope you didn't run off. Damn streamlabs! <laughs> it's time to time them out for. I think I said a second or something. Man, yeah, that's messed you, up. There's a there's a setting in the streamlabs bot for like yeah. So so many uh, emotes or whatever. Right. But, uh, you know, like I said, I, I put, um, ever since they made it to where you can't put uh, to the right of the name there, and there you are, Lunatic. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, well, you should have been um, a moderator already anyway. I don't know why you weren't. But anyhow, there you go, buddy. 
Um, so I put that in there because we used to be able to write on the right side of the names in there. You could click on the right side. Those three little dots would pop up, and it would say, go to channel. And it would take you, you could click there and go to the person's channel who was ever to the right of that name. And then you could, you could uh, go ahead and subscribe and everything while you were in the chat here. And they took that away. And I don't know why. I've never been able to figure that out. So that's why I give everybody a doggone wrench, and then you can put your links in. Because <laughs> I want everybody to share each other's channels and have a good time, you know. Just easier that way. And on the other side of the thing, if everybody's a moderator, nobody can time anybody out, and nobody gets pissed off. <laughs> that's another good safeguard. Right? Oh, virtual farmer stream because of the hand waving. Really, I didn't know that. I did not know that because I watch virtual farmer too. <laughs> That's wild. Oh, we got to uh, unload over yonder. Let me uh, just pull up the map here and find this guy. There he is. Well, I don't want to go here. I want to go here. Enter vehicle. There we go. All right, we're going to make some money here in a minute because I'm going to have, uh, and I think I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to chart another course uh, while we're here. I'm going to do, uh, from this field over to the cell point, Jacob's cell point over there, Jacob's Grain. It's called Jacob's Grain, yeah. And they've had the best price today. And I've since found a faster way over there, too, than the original way. So this will work out pretty good. Does that mean, guys? Yeah, they really are. Going to take, they really are good, you know, um, as far as what you're saying. Yeah. Because, I mean, brand spanking new people, I don't hand out a wrench to. But until uh, I get to know them a little bit, make sure they're not, you know, trolls or into screw things up, you know. But uh, all these people, we've been together a long time, man. I guess Farmer Min said cheers and ran. He's, I'm sorry I missed that, man. Farmer Min was my mentor. <laughs> he and golf cart jockey when I started this all back on PlayStation. A year and a half ago now, at least. I started on PlayStation. And, uh, good friends, man, that's for sure. Okay, now, 97%, that's full enough. So I'm going to, uh, I could run along there and try to top it, but this is good enough. All right, let me go over here now. I'm going to just do a start point on this road over here, I think. Instead of going up along those trees, we'll go. I don't do well around the trees, so <laughs> I'm not going to set a deal for that. Um, oh, look there. That tractor's about done, looks like. Over on the sprayer. Good. Okay, so let's just get in the clear here. and I'm going to start up right here. Let's right-click it here. Uh, I'm going to start a course recording. And green transport. Uh, now, oh, so should I do empty combine and offload, right? No. Yep. Yeah. If, oh. you're, if you're picking up from the combine in the field. Oh, cool. Well, I already. Like a silo or an offload point. Oh, so I need. I should go back. Because I'm actually not. Picking it up from the combine right this moment, right? So I'll go here. Yeah, what's your, what, well, what's your? You know what I mean. Intent? My intent is just to go from this spot right here, okay, and go over there and do the dump. So that. So you just want the transport mode, yeah? You don't need. To so there's a set unload point. I'm going to set that when we get over there. No, because that's load at start. You don't. You need transport. It's the straight lines. Right. Keep going over to the right. Right there. 
start to finish, right? Yeah. If you do the the one that says load first, it'll, it needs a silo or something to load. Oh, I see. Load and start. Gotcha. I, you know, I missed that the first time. All right. And then this is leveling and compact. What? It does leveling and compacting? Whoa. Yeah, if you, if you get really good with it, you can make it do all the work in your bunker silos. Oh, that is wild. Okay, well, let me... Uh, I guess I've already started recording, yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now you're in the right mode. All right, so now we're going to go. Can I X this off while we're driving? Uh, or is it not advisable? Well, if, as long as you're recording, I think you could. I don't think it would hurt you. Yeah, there we go. All right, and we are creating yellow dots. Follow the yellow dots. Oh, I'm going to take, I'll read that in just a second, buddy. I see that you got something up there. I'm, I don't want to run. I'm recording this run. I don't want to run into the tree. Yeah. As you know, I'm famous for doing that. I've got a bad reputation, and it's, and it's not a fair reputation because, you know, it's not really true. Uh, everybody thinks that I'm a worse driver than farmer men, and it's just not so. <laughs> now, he'll tell you different. He'll tell you different. And then they got me, uh, Chris, for these uh, six-wheel and map tours, they call it. And that's for me famously getting lost. I have a bad reputation for getting lost on a map and and uh, pretty much giving a whole tour of the map before I ever find my way where I was supposed to be going. So, so I do have that stuck on me too. I uh, I gotta tell you, dude. I I've been known to get lost on my own map. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's it's one, not that hard when you're. Me. Yeah. You know, people say, well, you should know where you're going. You made the map. Yeah, well, um, it doesn't mean I remember where every piece and part of things on the map. Sure. And I understand that because I messed around with Giants Editor a little bit uh, last year. I was horsing around with the idea of uh, map making. And I lost interest after a while, but, uh, but I did learn a thing or two about it. Just enough to get myself in a mess. It's basically what I learned, you know, on Giants Editor. But uh, I can go on there and take some things out um, that maybe annoy me in a map, you know, and then I can reload it for my own play. I can do stuff like that, but uh, that's about it. Hey, guy, I had a guy contact me a week or so ago. He said, uh, told me he was an up and coming map maker and he just needed a couple tidbits of help some questions yeah so I said okay um, what's your questions 20 minutes later I got a, a whole list of stuff yeah and very very detailed questions and I was like dude I God, you want me to build this map for you <laughs> <laughs> I think people don't realize a lot of people get into the idea that I can just download the map, uh, editor and make a map. Right. It's well, there's some truth to that. If you if you use all giants assets and you use uh, a starter that you know has all the triggers and stuff pretty much set and that kind of thing. But right. When you start to get into custom maps, custom triggers, and custom assets, and you know extra fruits and you know extra scripts and all the, it it it's not a thing you learn in in, in a day or, or a week it, right it takes years to learn how to do this right and uh now this is a wait point right buddy i don't mean to cut you off um i know i'm behind would, you're behind me i would put a pause point where the tr where the is that where the, the big uh, p is yeah right when the grain is dumping put a pause point oh go so ahead and pause where it dumps. So hit dump and then hit the P? Yeah. Put a pause point right there. Okay. There we go. Pausing. And uh, you could also hit... The, you, did you hit the dump truck? No. Okay, so dump. There we go. Yeah. Pause and then dump. So 
so it'll stop and it'll dump and then then you can continue on. Cool. So it's dumping. I'm getting a couple of dollars, which I needed desperately. Dollars are good. Oh yeah, yeah. Lunatic's talking about. Uh, we started out looking up to and watching the same farming simulator streamers. Yeah, we did. Lunatic. Yeah, missing the old days a lot. Me too. And a number of things. Okay, so that's done. Now I can hit. Um, dun -dun -dun -dun. We're still recording, so okay, so we're done waiting. So now I can hit the turnaround, right? Start turn maneuver. If I want from this no, point. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Well, this is to get back home. No, you don't need to hit a turnaround. Just, just continue driving and continue recording all the way back to where you want to stop. Oh, okay. Yeah, that turn. Because last time, what I did, I, I backed up. Actually, I hit start reverse driving, and then I backed up the last time I was here. And then, then I did a turnaround, and then I took off, and it made it back. But it, the only place it crashed was back on the thing. But so you don't have to do this though. No, just drive. Just now, now that you're let's go. done dumping the rain, just drive back. And I don't have to. So when you get to when do you get set back up, to the, set to unload the point. Uh, did you do that already? Well, I thought I did. Uh, if there's not a little sign there that says unload. Like set unload point. All right, it's, yeah, because it's when I point at the unload dumping thing there, it's saying set unload point. So maybe I have not. I'll send it again it just in case. Right, it should dump the trigger anyway. But just yeah, it's not a bad idea just to see. Okay, so now I got to get back to here. And now you just drive on back. You may already be doing that. So. Okay, here we go, and boom. All right, now we go back. Oh, it's not doing anything. It's not laying the path down now. It stopped doing that. You didn't hit stop, did you? Maybe I did. Oh, you stopped your recording. Ah, you yeah, I sure as hell did. Son of a gun. So now it wouldn't make any sense to go ahead and start another recording from this point because that defeats the whole purpose. Yeah, you would have to go out there and send it back. So. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll redo it next time. <laughs> yep, next Live, time you go to the... Live dump, and learn. Go to the, if you, um, when you're on transport mode, though, uh, there should be a setting on there to stop at next... Stop at next trigger. Stop at... Yes. Yeah, see, stop at next trigger or last, tr or last point. So I can go back hit, and redo this from there, right? That, it should stop at the trigger and dump. Oh, okay. But it doesn't always, so I always try to set a, a pause and dump at the triggers. Oh, so you're saying I can record again from there? No, add what I'm saying add is to this one? Oh, okay. What I'm saying is when you record it again, mm -hmm. when you get to the trigger and you're ready to dump your grain, yeah. pull, pull up to dump your grain like you normally would and set a pause point. Yes. You don't need to set the dump point because the trigger... Okay. See, I did both. It'll, it'll, it'll trigger on the trigger. Yep, I did both. And I didn't need to. Okay. Just hit the pause. Yeah. All right. Yeah, when you go back and do it again, it'll be... Uh, All right, we'll just hit the pause that time. Cool. You just got to make sure that function is turned on to... Yes. To stop the next trigger. Got it. Where's my rope? stop, it'll dump the grain, and the pause will let it stay there long enough to dump it. There's the pause. Oh, I guess I'm turning too soon. <laughs> Jump out the there, There's a road right there. Do you ever play, uh, do you, what, do you, what versions of this game do you have? Uh, this is the, what do you call it, Platinum? Yeah, no, no, I mean, do you have 17 or 15? Or oh, yeah, I have 17, but only on, uh, 17's on my PlayStation. I don't have it on PC yet. Oh, that's, okay, that's unfortunate. Well, if you ever get it on PC, let me know, and I'll send you a version of this map. Oh, okay. It's a standard version. Yeah. It's stuffed with Maru's fabric script stuff. Oh, I've built so much stuff based on the, on the fabric script. Yeah. It is literally everything you do has a function. So when you harvest cotton, you take that to the spinnery and put it in there. Wow. When you get wool, you put that in the spinnery. And when you get enough of both of those, the spinnery will start kicking out products. It'll start kicking out like a, 
clothing oh. and blankets and not, and you and you take those and sell them to sell them. Oh, cool. Everything is like that. The the, the dairy takes your milk and turns yeah. it into cheese and it turns it into their uh, there's flavored cheese and there's sour cream and there's all wow. kinds of and everything is like this. You have to build all the pallets. Yeah. You have to cut all the trees and put them in and build the pallets to <laughs> create the pallets you need for all of your functional uh, factories and everything. It's all done that way. Wow. It, it, it's We played it for months and months and months. And, dude, I don't think, with six or eight people on the server, I don't think we ever really made a dent. Oh, yeah? All the stuff that needed to be done. Man. I went a little, I, I did, I went a little crazy. <laughs> well, it sounds like fun, man. See, I love fabric strip. I could build anything with a fabric strip. Oh, okay. But now, the the new script, I can't build anything with. Oh, wow. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm stuck in fabric strip mode. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a 17 version, so if you yeah. ever get 17 on PC, let me know, and I'll right. send, you the, send you the map. Thanks, man. I will. Hey, Howie, how you, how you doing, man? Long time no here. How you been? Great to see you, buddy. How you been, buddy? My good buddy, Howie. I'm uh, sitting here, Howie. I'm talking with my friend Chris over at Funny Farm Gaming. And um, you see him in the chat as Funny Farm Gaming. And he streams on uh, YouTube a little bit, mostly over on Twitch. Um, and he makes this, he made this map here, and he makes all kinds of great maps. Hunter Farm and uh, this one, and uh, I'm trying to remember because I watched you, and you just said the other maps. I was just what the video I watched, or I don't know, maybe you were live, and you mentioned the other maps. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> no, um, that's why they call me the Forgetful Farmer, folks. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't retain more than two things. For 19, it was uh, Hunter. Yep. Great Western Extreme. Yep. Of course, the Homestead, which is just about done. And yeah, that's then, the new uh, one. Yeah. The hard way. The hard way map is the other one I did. Okay. The hard way. I haven't seen I haven't even seen that one. I'm gonna have to get that. It's because it never went public. Okay, well that would uh, be the reason. <laughs> it went semi public. It basically went out to the Discord uh, community. Oh gotcha. As far as their plant. Hey, look what we got here. These were green a minute ago. We fertilized it and now they popped. So we're good to go. Oh, is this still on the thing? Stop driver, yeah. Oop. Okay, there. Cool. Well, then we got... Uh, so that was a temporary course. I think we'll keep that course. That one worked. So let me save that course. That's going to be field three, field one. Field one. Field work, I guess. We can just call it spring because we're going to use that path for everything I think uh, save oh okay now this is ready to harvest oh, I forgot about that one too there was another one I did called the funny farm oh really the funny farm <laughs> yeah it was just an edit it was the first map I ever worked with in 19 so it was a it's kind of a function test but it's an edit of Felsberg oh okay Oh, well, I'm going to go check that. Uh, we're going to figure this out over here with the uh, fertilizer real quick. While I'm driving this in here. Let's see if I can find the trigger here. Now, see, I'm getting a change pump direction. Is that something? Well, first of all, that's herbicide, so. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I, I get a change pump direction to filling. Uh, that's got to do with that hose system, you know, the, the hoses. That might be why it's not working. Those those silos are old. Oh, no, here it goes. It's going. No, it's going just fine. Okay. Ah. Okay. So you were trying to pump it the wrong way. Yeah, and I just, or I just didn't hit the right spot, I guess. Or you, yeah, that may be it. I may not have had the right direction. Huh. Crazy. Too many gadgets and gizmos. <laughs> Get, getting confusing. All right, let me pull in. These sheds are awesome. I love these sheds. I'm going uh, to send you a, a DM, Discord. All right, cool. 
it's uh, it's the folder that has all my maps. Oh, thank you. There, these are the original maps. Oh, God bless you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. That way, you have all of the right copies. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, because that was crazy. That, you know, I, was, <laughs> I was putting down cell points, man, and and uh, pretty much had to just, you know. Arrange it all however, however I wanted it at the time because I just there was nothing on it. <laughs> yeah. As far as cell points went. Okay, so hey kids, we got this here, and I'm gonna go over here. Is are my headlights on? Yeah. Turn them off. We don't need headlights yet. Uh, might as well get this baby here. Put it to work. Might as well. And I saw you were putting this uh, in the homestead map. Uh, if y'all didn't understand what was going on, the homestead map is a map, uh, the newest one that's coming out soon uh, from Chris there at 24 Game in the homestead 4X map. And uh, it's been in testing and stuff. The guys have been testing it out, and it's going to be really good. Uh, this, Howie, I'm sorry, is a 4X map. If I can interject for just one second. Absolutely. Make, yeah. Have at it. I, I personally feel like the homestead map is the best map I've ever made. So yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> I put almost six months into this map now. Yeah. Uh, and it's big. Yep. It's, it's over 50 fields on it, but they're big fields. There's a mix of sizes, but it's it's I think it's manageable even in a single player. So cool. But uh. It'll be out soon. My testers have it. It's already gone to the testers. Yes. I found a couple of errors last night that I've since corrected. Okay. Cool. All the testers yeah. Well, you'll be. It'll be announced. I'm sure on your Discord, right? Uh, yeah, I'll release it yeah. on Discord. And yeah. On my Facebook. My Facebook page. Um, it's okay. I'll yeah. If you want. If you want. Yeah. If you want, put it in the chat there too, uh, Chris. Just Facebook.com, and you're gonna. This is. I know this is hard to believe, but it's Funny Farm. No. Gaming. Funny Farm Gaming. Go Facebook.com. <laughs> funny Farm Gaming. Go figure. <laughs> That's great. That, there you go, guys. Because a lot of these guys have Facebook. I don't have Facebook. So Anywhere I'm, you're looking for me, guys. Anywhere you're looking for me, you can find me at all the social platforms and everything. It's Funny Farm Gaming. If it's not Funny Farm Gaming, anyway, it's not you. There you go. <laughs> and if you can go to you can go to Funny Farm Gaming dot live dot l i v e. Yeah. And that'll take you to all of my stuff. That's oh. one page. It'll take you to everything. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is that it within Facebook or just out there? No, that's just it's a website through. Um, well, actually, I I got it through Streamlabs, but it's uh, oh cool. So it basically it's, integrates all the Twitch stuff. You said it was Funny Farm Gaming dot live dot live live cool well, live easy cool. What are you have there, everybody? Being, if I stop being live, yeah, right. Well, I won't be able to change it because I won't be live anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to load a course here now. We're going to run um, field work. Is it here somewhere? No, over here I want to go. Manage courses. We're going to load field uh, one. You already have a harvester course on this map? On this field? Uh, load. Yeah. Well, not harvester, but I'm thinking it's going to take the same path, right? No, because... The header is different width. Oh. You, you should, anytime, like a, for a different implement like this, <laughs> you should generate a new Got it. All right. So how do I get this back out of here then? Let's see. Unload it. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a, an X. This X right here? Nope. I can't see this. 30 seconds ago. No. The X at the top where it says manage forces is a little round X. Now that's... Delete it. No, I don't want to delete it. Oh. Oh, I just want to yell at the screen. Go up, go up, go up. Go up. You can't. You're already probably there. Oh, this? 
Okay, there, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a, we got a set of course. We are going to do field work, course generation, field one. We're gonna do it around twice. Automatic starting direction. I guess, do I wanna do that? Oh. What do you think? Longest edge, right? No, go. Are you doing a headland? Do it. Tell it to go around the. Yeah, it's going around, but then starting direction it says longest edge. That would be this, right? If I set at longest edge, or should I just put automatic? Okay, I don't know where you're at because the stream's behind. Yeah, I'm waiting on you. I'm gonna oh, wait. Leave it automatic. No, leave, leave it automatic. Because you saw you had longest. You can. If you put it on longest edge, it will... It will want uh, it to do this edge right here? Yeah, it will. It, so that's the way I that, want it to go. Yeah, try that. See what happens. Okay. See if you're happy with it. Cool. Generate. Funny farm reminds me of my in-laws. They were dairy farmers, and my wife and her siblings called the Due to the current farm. direction, say it may cause issues when driving. You see this? <laughs> You see that? Uh, I'll wait. I'm waiting. Funny farm reminds oh. me of my in-laws. They were dairy farmers, and my wife and her siblings called the farm the funny farm. Oh, cool. Howie? <laughs> no, I would just say okay. I think it's just trying to tell you that it, because that's actually the way I wanted it to go just like that yeah I think it's because of the um, the farm being in the middle that that you shaped in the middle yeah but it should okay I would just tell it okay cool if it don't work we'll drive work. course right no I didn't turn it on again no it's turning sideways again or is this how it's going to do around the header? It's going to do your... Okay, yeah, it's going good. Yeah. Going to do the headland first. Okay. Yeah, I remember you saying, don't freak out when it's doing stuff. Let it do what it's trying to do. Yeah, unless it starts spinning in death circles, and then you're like, okay, what the heck? Death but circle, yeah. yeah. All right, See cool. See how the start, that start arrow, it has to get to the start arrow. Right. All right, cool. So it's doing, I uh, forgot it's doing the header, headland, all the way around. Cool. Nice. There's a funny story, Howie, behind the Funny Farm name. Uh, I didn't start out that way. I started out uh, using my name as my channel. But I built the whole channel on Farm Sim. And at one point, things got so convoluted and strange and crazy on a daily basis that people would always just say, well, welcome to the Funny Farm. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually it just made sense so we rebranded re the channel the funny farm game and it's been that way ever since uh, that's cool it's mutated a little bit you know after after being diagnosed with PTSD and, and that I uh, I kind of turned the brand into a guy with a well, straight jacket on so it's yeah <laughs> too, too old now you know but. That, that's funny that is a great <laughs> A great, um, what do you call it, I, whatever, icon or whatever you call it, emoji, whatever you call that, you yeah. Seen the, the, you should have seen the look on the guy's face, when I, the designer's face, when I said, this is what I want you to do. To, yeah. You know, use, to use my picture, to make a character, put it straight straight jacket. Yeah, man. <laughs> sure. I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. That's funny. That is funny. I was over on the mystery farm this morning trying this, and um, one of the functions, like this right here, you would not see the grain coming out. Well, that's a particle system error. That means they don't have a yeah. particle system. Yeah, right? yeah. The mystery farm map, which I will eventually say, I don't think it's. I don't know that it's even going to get released. Um, and if that's the case, if that's the case, then I will ultimately let you all know what it is. Uh, it would mean that you would have to um, deal with, you know, what's not complete 
because I think there's a couple of things maybe not. But for the most part, man, everything I've been on has worked. You said it's a, a work in progress, right? I th well, I think it is, you know. I don't rightly know for sure. Uh, does, it have a, does it have additional fruits in it? Yes. Yeah, it, so it, they may... It had a cup. It had a two or three, two or three different fruits you could uh, get. See, I already <laughs> forgetful farmer. I already forgot what the hell was in there. Um, I've been off of it for a couple of hours, so I don't remember. But uh, you have to. It's, it's it's when you put extra fruits in a map, you have to rebuild the particle system there, so that you get the stuff out of the. Particle. Yeah, and maybe that hadn't been done on it yet, or something. You know, I don't know. Yeah, Eventually, if, if I'm, I'll find out, I'll go back and ask this guy uh, more about the map. I should have done that. I was just well, excited yeah. about it and took off with it, and uh, <laughs> and so it was. Um, and uh, and I just loved the mud that was on it. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw it. If you haven't seen that Mahindra rise, two minutes and seventeen seconds of your life. Okay, check it out <laughs> and, and and watch. Whoa, we're not going to run over here. Go check that video out, guys, on my YouTube page. And uh, you'll enjoy it, man. It's fun. You got it's it's rock music working. playing, and, and I'm and I'm playing in the mud in the Mahindra. So check it out on my uh, mystery farm map because uh, it's a gas. I like it. Two minutes worth of silliness, but you know what? We all need a couple minutes worth of silliness. Yeah. Life, right? Yes, absolutely. That's why I say this. It's a good uh, take a break video to watch. You know. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I watched it twice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you know, if you're at work or something, and you you know. Just want to rest your eyes and look at something different. There you go. So you liked it twice, and you did it twice. Cool. Yeah, man. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> so, what else we got? I put in the. Uh, ooh, there go the birds. I've already got the plumbers coming. See, I, this is how new this map is right now. This farm that I'm redoing because this it was, you know, I had to start over. Right. So, so. Um, you know, we're still waiting on the plumbers <laughs> to come in and fix the water up. And so we got that all set to go. And then uh, I put in these pellet shacks. This is the one that builds the pallets, uh, has pallet pellets. Uh, and um, over here is the pellet storage building. Yeah. So that's all sitting there ready to use. Got my vehicle shop. And uh, this, I love this vehicle shop. It's really cool. And, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to be filling these up very soon. Oh, yeah, because I got the grass over here to pick up. Oh, we can do that now. You only, have you uh, spread any lime on this map? Not yet. I'm not sure, but there might be. It needs lime. I know it's calling for it. There might be a particle issue with the lime, and I don't remember if I fixed it or not. Oh. At one point, there was an issue where it, instead of coming out as little particles, it would come out of the spreader as a big triangle out the back. Oh, really? It still worked. It just looked funny. It oh. was something to do with the particles <laughs> system, and I never—I don't know if I fixed it or not. Oh, okay. I, uh, uh, I don't even think I have a spreader for lime yet. Because I sold off stuff that was here in the beginning, the John, some of the John Deere stuff in order to get all the cloth stuff. And that's just because I had got the cloth pack and uh, yeah, and I know. like it, you know, I thought yeah, I'm going to use it because I have a hundred of these different, I have a lot of these cloth things that, that are mod versions of it mm -hmm. and not out of the cloth pack itself. But the cloth pack itself, things are just different, you know, I mean, you got, it's got some cool stuff on them. Uh, yeah. the, the engine sound and the horn sounds and uh, because this is, yeah, see, that's a better horn than, than the original Meep Meep horn. Yeah, see, each one's different, you know. Not yeah. the same old horn. I think these in here are, are pretty cool. Hey, that's a good horn. See? That's one when you're in traffic, you want that, man. Hey, come on, man. You know, that's what you need. That little Meep Meep. You get your butt You get your butt kicked if you Meep Meep somebody. You know? <laughs> you got you to gotta sound like you mean it, man. You know? <laughs> Telling you, uh, there you go. Give me a second, man. I got to. You bet, you so. bet, you bet. So you guys are able to. Uh, that's a good horn, see. So horns are important. <laughs> horns are important. Yeah, uh, Howie, you love this map. Get this map. It's got a great Western extreme. And um, 
if you can't find this version of the right version, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'm sure Chris won't mind me uh, loading you up. He may have a link to put in to ensure you get the right one. Well, I'm, I tell you what, if you go to that one, he said, uh, funnyfarmgaming.live, I'm sure you get the, the link right there for that map. You can download from there. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. And, of course, it's Facebook. He put his link in there. But uh, Great Western Extreme, it's a ball, man. It's a lot of fun. Very challenging, man. A lot of ground here. Lots to do. Lots of work. That's why I'm glad for this course play. Now i got to buy a, something to pick up this grass. Uh, I think I'll go, because of the money, I'm going to have to go with Old Reliable. Almost hate to, though. Almost hate to, because... Uh, boy, I don't know. You know what? I think not. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Let me go back to this other loading wagon. Not there. Loading wagon. Oh, over here. Okay, I think I'll get this one over here. And because this, I can pick up two lanes at once with two lines at once with it. And uh, so that makes sense. Oh crap! I am gonna have to lease it. <laughs> We'll lease it. There you go. I already borrowed. I borrowed some money. I borrowed seventy grand, I think. Yeah. So I'm seventy grand in the in the red. So uh, hopefully, eventually, we'll get that handled. I won't have to, uh, you know, owe the bank. But for right now, I do. Yeah, yeah the air horns, Howie. Those are great, right? All right, so we'll get this baby over here. It's it's a modded loading wagon, and it will pick up a couple of lines at once. Work tool need to be unloaded. 790. Oh, okay. 790 needs to be emptied out. I'll have to go get that. I better go do that. I think I'm going to need this tractor to do it. Uh, yeah, because the other tractor is busy, right? Mm, believe so. So, or no, it ain't. Hang on. Hold on, folks. <laughs> Here's what I'm looking for, and I got to dump out. I was playing around with the forager. <laughs> See, I got the forager here. I was goofing around. I got a little dab of chaff in it. I was trying it also on course play, and it worked great. It, followed, it actually followed the same path that I had laid out for the harvester there. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can do that. If you use the same center line, yeah. So you can actually so use the harvester, yeah. And then you can put a baler on that same course, or a wind rower, or a whatever. It, as long as you know, if it's like wind row like that. But if yeah. it's too wide, obviously you get issues with that. Can I bail on cross with the course play? Yes, you can. No. You can bail and you can oh, row and dude. you can mow and you can uh, so a lot of the things well, we I got can't the mowing, now, yeah. Mm. Like right now you, you can't win row with a worker. It won't let you. Right. But course play will. Son of a gun. Oh boy. Well I'm gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great, man. I can't believe it took me over a year to not be afraid of this thing. But it was your video, man, that, that made me go okay I think I can do that so, uh, so well, thank you very much for that man that was a great and that's the kind of useful things you guys can get over at Chris's streams over on Twitch let's dump this here real quick look at, look at the trap we got all that trap in there <laughs> alright this is to go pick up the soybean empty out the uh, 790 John Deere once I locate it where are you here, John Deere, where are you? Oh, over there, okay. Take a left. I think I can cut through here without hitting a tree. I don't know, man. You might be overfilling that bunker silo. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's something else. That is something else. 
and I like to feature here with this guy if he needs to we'll do a little do -si do and so you don't have to uh, get into the illness like right here he did and then you don't have to uh, get up in the crop to pick up the, the uh, product here you know what I'm saying I know you do because you're the one that told me yeah, well, I play with the team. The thing is, I Oh, play. crap. This is not the right wagon, right? It's not going to recognize it. This is a... You play, um, you play with crop destruction. Yeah, I'm, well, once I get this all ironed out, that's what I'm going to do, because I never play with crop destruction. And there's a story behind that. <laughs> and most of the guys here know. Um, and the video is actually on my website, or my uh, YouTube channel, under... Um, Multiplay Hall of Fame, and it's a Farmer Men video um, where I first time I ever multiplayed with Farmer Men, and he had me in, and this was I believe on 17 um, on the PlayStation, and I didn't, I was scared to death. First of all, I was real, like I said, Farmer Men was my mentor, right? And he, was, he finally let me come play on his farm with the guys, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm excited, I'm excited. Man, I sucked so much. <laughs> it was so bad. It was a nightmare. I, that's where the uh, six-wheeling, um, what do you call it, the six-wheeling uh, map tour came from. Is that stream right there? Uh, so if y'all ever, <laughs> you want to laugh? It, I mean, people talked about that for weeks about how hard they had laughed and how stupid I was. <laughs> Is what really what it boiled down to. I mean, I just couldn't figure out what I was doing. And oh, what a mess. And then I finally found my way to where I was supposed to be going to do work uh, to fertilize the field. I had the, a fertilizer sprayer just like the one I was using earlier, basically, um, the Hardy. And then I went and pulled out on the field. And as I did, I'm looking back and I'm like, well, this is weird. Where's the crop going? And then it dawned on me. I'm like, duh. I said, uh, Farmer Man, I said, you got the uh, crop destruction on, eh? <laughs> and then, so after that, it was just t the end all of things. Because <laughs> it just, it took me forever to find that field. Yeah. And then, by the time I got there, and then come out on a field and destroyed half the crop, <laughs> it was something. And uh, he playfully... Uh, and effectively he told me I could never work on his farm again. But I, 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 I was able to later. But uh, anyhow, it's, it's just a funny stream if you all want to watch it. It's still out there on my Multiplayer Hall of Fame uh, playlist. You can find it, Oakfield, Oakfield Farm. I'm rolling around here in a circle because that was a loading wagon. Uh, it's not for a crop, so I gotta get another tipper. I only have one. No, I don't. Whoa, 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 dude. Brain cell just activated. Hold on. Hold on. I got a brain cell that started working again. I do have a dump truck. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we can go get it. Sorry about that, guys. I just, uh, just remembered I got this baby here. We'll use it. The old Jimmy dump truck. Yeah, that's funny. You know, I think I told. Uh, I think I, I. I think I mentioned this on the. I may not have, but I think I did. But we we used to run into that. You know, we used to run crop destruction in seventeen. Um, yeah. For mod back. Then. Right. But we used to use it, and when one particular person joined the group, they didn't use it, and they didn't like it. Right. But they had to have it, because it was, no, you know, it was in the, it was in the thing. Well, we, I come into the server one morning, and there were tracks all through the field, and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> what's going on here? And uh, as it turned out... I didn't find this out until days later, but uh, the tracks were because she drove across the field to get to where she was going, and 
I, it took me a little while to figure out who it was that was doing it. It's like, I know somebody's driving across this field, but who the heck is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I started checking the server logs, and I was like, oh, ah, I get it, I get it. It took me a long time to convince her to stop driving across those dang fields. Right? Oh, man. But some people just don't like uh, crop destruction. Well, I never did, and I, you know, like I said, I, I don't have it on now. Um, I just, I've never... Because I'm a horrible driver, and I so many times get out accidentally, even trying to be careful, right? Because I, I sometimes go, and I'm, I try to do it like I actually have it on, right? Try to do it like that, but I'll mess up, and I'll catch the edge, edge of a or corner of a field, man. And, you know, it's like, ah, you know? <laughs> so I just turn it off. No, but, I uh, get it. I, I, we, it's, it's not for everyone. Well, I'm going to try it now, you know. I'll be trying it as soon as I get everything all lined out here. I don't know where I think I'm going with this truck. Keep it over here by the field would make the most sense. Okay. I'm trying to walk and chew gum, and it's a little hard for an old guy there's like a, me. Um, that, there is a benefit to course play that I don't think I mentioned uh, when it comes to crop destruction, actually. Uh, course play... So if you're driving your your combine and you drive across the field and you've got crop, crop destruction on, you're going to have tracks, right? Right. But the course play, any vehicle that's that's being driven by course play, right, can drive through that same field without damaging the crop. Oh. And I think they did that because it keeps it from like sometimes the thing just can't make a corner right, or it's going to run across something or whatever because of the way the the program works right right so i think that's why they did it is because sometimes it's unavoidable yes exactly yeah how you don't use it either right yeah yeah i know a lot of people that don't play with it yeah you ain't alone in that man there's a lot of people that don't like it. yeah just just turn it off and they don't even don't even think about it they don't <laughs> okay so picking this up here well, I suppose this... Oh, yeah, it would. Although I don't need it to do it that way. I can do it faster myself uh, because of this mod. If I had a regular, was using a regular one, I, I would come here and run the same deal I did the mowing with. Right? Well, I should do that. I mean, because this thing here wipes out two rows at once if you just drive down the middle. Um, I think I'll use the actual loading wagon and try to run that script, um, the course play. And I'll use the mowing script that I made. Script's probably not the right terminology. Path. I call it a path or a track. A lot of people call it different. That that course just don't call it that coursey thing, you know that coursey course. thing. <laughs> you could call it the coursey thing if you want. The coursey thing. Well, you, you could. You're not, but you probably. Can. I think I might get somebody making fun of me if I did that, though. I mean, you know. <laughs> Give me a hard I mean, time. No, but I, some people might. You know, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's Where's see if this is. Let's see if this works. I don't know. It might not work. Okay, so I'm going to uh, field work, and I'm going to load a course, which would be in here, no, manage courses, here we go, field, uh, uh, grass field one is what I called that, uh, I'm going to load that. Okay, and then come out of there, right? And start the course at the current waypoint. But this actually is the first waypoint right here. Yeah. And uh, so I will do that and drive the course. Oh, I didn't turn it on. Crap. Is it going to turn it on? It should turn on. Yes, it turned on. It turned on. All right, cool. There you go.
Yeah, and now it's going to use that same exact path, so it'll pick up everything that's going to It won't miss anything. Perfect. When it's full, though, it's going to stop. Yes. Say I'm full. Yep. And, and then, to... then you have to, oh, can you, ooh. Well, that's a drag, because then, how do you get back to the exact point? Well, you'll 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 know where the windrow is missing, so you can drive right up to where the windrow yeah stop, and then start it at the next. Oh, sure, from current point. point. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. Okay, cool. Very good. All right, cool. Ah, oh, well, there was something else I don't have to do. All right, so I got that. Uh, when the you get really eighty-nine hundred. You when you're super comfortable with the thing, and you finally get to that point. Yeah. Then we'll teach you how to stack courses because there is a way so that you could load two courses at once. So you would have what he's doing right now. On the same field? Full, yeah. When it's full, oh. he would switch the other course, drive to the barn, dump it, come back and start back on the other course. Oh, cool. But it's a little complicated yeah. when you start stacking courses. But it, it, All you right. get, get comfortable with the base thing first and then yeah. and we'll talk about that. All right, cool. That's awesome. That'd be fun, man. Really, it's a game changer if you want to do these big maps on Let's Plays, I think. I think this is going to just really, once I figure this all out, I think it's going to be very beneficial. Oh, yeah, it, you can't. I've, I've said it for a long time. If you're playing by yourself on big maps, you've yeah. you got to learn course play. you got to. Yeah, it's just too much to keep up. I can't get it all done, you know, the way I want. And I try, you know. I, God bless me, I try. And I, um, you know, I get tired, man. You, I literally get tired. Like I was out there actually farming, you yeah. know. trying. To, <laughs> that's, that's funny. Uh, and my wife laughs because I say, you know, I'm, I'm worn out from farming, literally, you know. <laughs> so I feel like I was out there doing the work, man. And uh, it's funny how that works, you know. Yeah, it wears me out sometimes, man. Harvester's doing good. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Did she make fun of you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. My, my, my ex used to tell me all the time, she'd say, I can't believe how much you play that game. You're nothing but an overgrown man-child. Oh, see, yeah. <laughs> and, but now, and, and now, see, the thing is, now my, my wife's thrilled to death that I... Um, oh, that's the... Uh, this here, here we go. Uh, no, my wife's thrilled to death that I have this. Otherwise, I would. She knows that I would drive her nuts. So she's very, very pleased. Yeah, you're out of stuff to do. You got to have something to do with your time. Okay, we're gonna stop the driver, and, and we're just gonna know. dump this, right? Yeah. If you're, if, you're, if you're like me, just sitting all doing nothing. I mean, it takes no time at all before you're like, right oh, yeah. this. Yes. Yeah. I can't do that. I can't just sit forever. And I don't like sitting and watching TV all damn day either. Dude, it just makes you dumb. Yeah. I'm exactly. sorry. It does. It's not, yeah. Unless you watch educational stuff. Like, I watch a lot of... Uh, if I'm watching stuff, I watch, like, documentaries and stuff. Yeah. Stuff. We, have a couple, like we have a couple old shows we watch uh, that we like. Um, and we run them up on the DVR, you know. And then we can watch them whenever we want. But we don't watch this stupid television anymore. It's just not anything I, I care to see. <laughs> not on there I want to see. Oh, there's your buddy golf cart jockey. Golf cart jockey, there he is. How you doing, buddy? I thought, I thought you were a figment of his imagination, golf cart. I, I never met you in, in uh, real life, so. Uh, oh, no. How you doing? Golf cart jockey. I'm glad to see that he's not as crazy as I thought he was. <laughs> yeah, no, he's... He and, uh, like I said, Farmer Men and Golf Cart Jockey, man. First two guys uh, that I watched. Oh, now there's something going on here with this. He's calling us gentlemen. Does that seem right? Yeah, I probably won't like that. <laughs> He'll probably deny that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, call me that. Yeah, he'll probably. Golf Cart will probably, <laughs> probably deny that terminology. <laughs> How you doing, Golf Cart, buddy? Good to see you, man. Been wondering how you been. Hey, OTD, how you doing? What's going on? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, we are learning. Um, 
He's still crazy, but nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Learning uh, course play here today, guys. And uh, it's been going pretty good, man. I'm enjoying it, that's for sure, on this big old map. This is a Great Western Extreme. And uh, this, online here with me is uh, Chris from Plenty Farm Gaming, who made the map. And uh, he's got a new one going to be coming out. Y'all be watching for it. It's a homestead is the name of the map. And you're going to want to get that when it comes out. And still get this stuff, too. Ponyfarmgaming.live was one, and he's on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Pony Farm Gaming. You can find everything if you go to that dot live. The dot live is everything there. Yeah. Cool. All right, now I'm going to resume this here. Uh, current waypoint. And go, baby. Well, that's just, that's just too good. Look at that. That's good stuff. Man. That is good. <laughs> All right, now I got another. Uh, okay, the John Deere needs emptied again. Let's go. <laughs> See, this way, though, you got that going on. And on a big old farm map like this, it's a four ax map, guys. And I can keep up. And I can just run around here and empty. Uh, I got two harvesters running right now. I can keep up with uh, dumping them pretty well. Oh, going the wrong way. Um. Where is this harvester again? It's probably still over in the field we were in. <laughs> On this side of it, I mean. Would have to be. Wouldn't it? Oh. Hang on, that's not that's not where he is. Oh, he's all the way over on the other end. <laughs> all the way over on the other end. Okay, there I go. Oh, this way, this way. Turn around. <laughs> At least this thing scoots around pretty quick. Oh crap. I don't see I'm gonna simulate doing it right, so I'm gonna go around the field. I wasted time going the way I did. Yeehaw! There he is. There he is. Look at that. Look at that spectacular all-star driving by your old buddy six wheeling. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Where'd he go? Why'd he take off? That didn't make sense. I guess he wants me to go with him. Did you see that? He kind of jumped the uh, gun and took off. The harvester? Yeah. It wasn't empty. Yeah. Uh, because there's a setting on your course play that says empty before driving on. Oh, okay. So you need to jump into that harvester and bring up your HUD, and then there's a, I can't remember which tab it's under, but there's a tab there for that. Oh, and okay. So pull up to it when he's full. He'll stop. He'll stay there. And yes. Yeah, that's the other one over there is doing it. Yeah, the other harvester is doing that. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, I have to bring up course play, though, right? Yeah, yeah, you have to be in the other harvester. Return to first point. Uh, you as well, Howie. General driving. Okay, Howie, man, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Great to see you. We'll see you soon, Howie. Y'all, uh, check out Howie102, man, on YouTube. Howie, you can put your YouTube link in there if you got a minute. If not, um, everybody, be sure and check him out. And subscribe to his channel, man, over there on YouTube. 
Okay, what am I trying to hit here? I want uh, combine controls. Yeah, go to the very first tab. Yeah. Yep, headland reverse and reverse. Stop, stop during unloading. There you go. Activate. That's it. That's it. Yeah, the other one I had like that. This one, no. All right, next time it'll go. Thank you very much. There we go. There we go. Zoom. I got go boots. Hey, golf cart. I got go boots like you, man. Hey, killer. How you doing, buddy? Killer weasel. Good to see you, man. What's to do with you? By golly. Okay, let's find out where to sell the so uh, soybeans. I'm not going to hang on to them. I need money. Soybeans over at Valley Logistics. Okay, let's tag it so I know where I'm going. But I'm still learning these uh, these sell points weren't on the map I had. <laughs> the copy I had uh, didn't have this. So, Oh, there it is. Way over there. Woo. Okay. I see it over there. I guess we'll go this way. And just go. I see the light in the sky. A dog barking. I don't even have oh, a dog, dog, I don't think. I don't think I had a dog. Oh, that's a coyote, actually. Oh, coyote. Oh. See, I thought that was a dog. That's a coyote. Okay. Yeah, we have coyotes around here where I live. Oh, yeah. That's not going to go the way I want to go, so we're going to cheat and go this way until we figure out the proper way to go. <laughs> Good to see you, Killer Weasel. Killer Weasel was streaming yesterday uh, in, in his truck, pretty much kind of like this, only he was in California. California, A. Hey. Oh boy, this is a, you know, I don't think I've even been over here, ever. This map or the other one. I don't think I ever came over this part. Never got around to it. Never got around to it. I'll have to find a proper way to go here, but there it is. How about that? Yeah, Killer Weasel was uh, streaming right from the cab of the truck, just like this. Because he was working out there doing some farm work. Okay. I see the light. I'm going over a bump. <laughs> That's not the way to go. Don't go to the light. Yes. <laughs> Don't go in the light or go in the light. One or the other. Let's see. Don't go in the light. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm going in. Uh, oh, the light's gone anyway. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get some money. Oh, I hope so. I desperately need some money. And we got the money beans there. Ah, 44000 There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, money beans? Oh, yeah. Money beans. You betcha. All right, so here's a road. Maybe I'll... <laughs> now, I think I'm going to run to the end of the map if I go that way. But it's still a road, yeah? So let's go over here. On that map, it's a big loop around the map. The entire outside of the map. You go all the way around. Oh, cool. Oh. You never get lost, ever. If you just go around, the, I can't. Uh, you don't know. No, I can get lost, even <laughs> even on here. Everybody knows that. Yep. I can get lost going across the street. Some days you just don't know. That's why my wife <laughs> my wife doesn't let me go across the street unless I ask. So. <laughs> Yep, I gotta, ooh, see? Yeah, I can get lost. I think I need my uh, alignment checked here. 
I let go of this wheel and it kind of drifts on me a little bit. Yeah, yeah golf club will tell you, I get lost real easy. Oh, I know this place. Hold the phone. I know this part. Okay, we'll go this way. Oh, you got a cell point here too. Awesome. I've been over here before. Okay. Yeah, see, I used to... I had stuff on the ground here. I put down on the uh, old map. Well, I guess I should have just stayed on the road I was on. Okay. Gotcha. Now I understand. I do understand now. Are you about the homestead map? Looking for a new American map. It's, it's, uh, it's a 4X. It's based in the uh, southern U.S. Part of the part of the layout was derived from this map that he's on, right? Some of the initial layout was derived from. But uh, it's a lot more unique. It's got about 50, 52 fields, I think, somewhere around there. I can tell you. Yeah, it's going to be good. Oh, hey! Joe, how you doing, buddy? Can't complain, man. Oh, good. I'm good. Good to hear you, man. That's Joel Offerman, everybody, from uh, South Africa. Hi, Funny Farm. How are you, man? How are you, yourself? I'm good, thank you for asking. That's nice. That's <laughs> nice to hear. Cool. Uh, go ahead, Chris. Uh, hang on just a minute, Joel. He's uh, telling Golf Cart about his map there. Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, it's it, Let's see. It's got see, see, seasons ready. It's uh, it's been expanded for the, um, the piles have been expanded, so you can put uh, Maze Plus in it. I was going to put it in, but Maze Plus, the creators of Maze Plus have a very strict policy about who can use their their stuff. So, the reprimand didn't have to take it out. <laughs> but you could edit it for Maze Plus if you chose to. It has uh, some multi, multi fruits. It's got, uh, it has hemp, it has hops, it has coffee, it has oh, clover. Uh, it's got a revamped uh, feed system. So, there's you, you now have to add some grains to your cows, and you, it incorporates the clover and the alcohol to the animal. Um, it has all time cell points, so when you're playing the map, uh, everything has open and closing times. Cell points physically won't work during those close times, so you have to plan your play to be able to play, to be able to deliver goods and, and stuff when stuff's open. Yeah. Um, uh, and it's hilly. It's hilly. That's not, it's the other thing I'm going to say. It's hilly. <laughs> hilly. It's compost, compost in it. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah. Well, you can see uh, over on Twitch, Golf Card Jockey, he's got a um, channel over there. And he did, he's been doing live streams of uh, testing the map and uh, stuff. It's got more details on there. You can see, too, on there um, at twitch.tv slash Funny Farm Gaming. Sir. And while you're doing that, if you just happen to go past twitch.tv slash Six wheeling, uh, you can stop in there too. Make sure you hit that one. That guy's good. I'm there on Sunday. Sunday at noon is the only stream I have scheduled over there uh, for now. And then I'm, I go over there sometimes. I'm just bored uh, sometimes. But uh, yeah. Oh, what happened here? This is not where he just was. Must be a collision thing there, yeah? The collisions still happen, uh, Chris, with the uh, course play, depending upon the vehicle you're using? I would guess so. What do you mean collisions? Like well, like, like it, it, left some, it left some grass back there because uh, it didn't want to run into the tree, is what it looks like. Oh, well, yeah, because you remember it's, it's, it sets a path based on... Oh, hey, golf cart. Thank you, buddy. There may be times, yeah. 
Thank you very much for that, man. He's following me over on Twitch. Thank you, buddy. There you go. I appreciate that. We have a name for that when you leave YouTube and come to Twitch, but I can't say it in stream because it's not family. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm still on YouTube primarily, but uh, but it is fun. Um, you know, go over there and goof off. I meet some, right. I'm, I'm meeting some people that over there too that I that don't YouTube, you know. So that's kind of cool. I, I have very fond memories of YouTube, man. We, I started out on YouTube. I was on YouTube for three years. Yeah. Over yeah. Uh, you're probably, over there. You're not really on YouTube anymore, right? Um, I still have a YouTube channel, and I do sometimes. I, what I'll do is I'll upload um, VODs and stuff. But I I need to get back to recording more. But it's it, right now. I've been so busy. With yeah. The Time. Sure. Eventually, man. I'll get back to recording, and my goal is to start putting some uh, some tutorial stuff on, on my yes. YouTube. So cool. Stuff like, stuff like course play tutorials and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. I heard, that's, that's my goal. Yeah, I heard you talking about that last night. Or I heard it this morning. <laughs> like I said, I was having my coffee watching your stream from last night. That's funny. And, uh, well, I always, you know. I always try to do that, and because um, I've got everybody is announced on my bot on my Discord. Uh, you guys, there it is, right there. Uh, my Discord it, link is right there, guys. Uh, be sure and uh, if you haven't already, be sure and join my Discord, and uh, I do live streaming on Discord. And uh, on there, you can say words occasionally that you might want to say that you can't say on here. <laughs> but I mean that's not the purpose of it but you can do it you know if you want you can say the words yeah bad word yeah say a bad word if you want it'll say be alright it'll be alright okay I guess I don't need to be there look at that I finally got golf cart jockey's uh, go boots I, I I had ordered them a long time ago he had them and uh, and I didn't have any so they finally came in they were back ordered and uh, here they are and I can go man so, uh, whatever I want to go. Oh, we got to dump back here. Right back here. I appreciate it, though, Golf Cart, for you uh, following on there. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. And boom. So, if you weren't here earlier, I had to go out and separate my neighbor, get my neighbors. I had two neighbors. <laughs> Giving my lawn mowing guy some business there, uh, you know, get complaining a little bit about the border here, and I, <laughs> I had to go out and straighten it out, man. I had to run him off. I get out of my yard. <laughs> leave my guy. Leave my guy the hell alone, you know. What were they complaining? He mowed their grass. Uh, or something? What it is is uh, it's it's goofy because here uh, we got a service. It's an association, right? You pay your dues. And there's an alleged an alleged lawn mowing company. There's actually lawn destroyers, and um, they come every ten days and mow. So, they, I got tired of spending money every time I turn around fixing sprinkler heads that they break. And they were also just they had these uh, zero turn mowers. Yeah. And in the front yard they would use those, and they would just do you know 360s out there and rip literally rip the grass out of the ground or they would have the deck so low that it would cut grass all the way down to with nothing but dirt <laughs> and I'm like I don't think I want you guys to do this anymore so I found a guy finally after nine years of putting up with this uh, to do it and so we're only doing it every two weeks it cost me 50 bucks a shot but he does a great job, and he cuts it diagonally and with stripes, and he stripes it, and he does the edging and, and blows everything off real good. Um, you know, twice a month, basically, two, every two weeks. So it's great, right? So I got a neighbor, and he's so he's right to, uh, to the side of me, and then there's another neighbor over on the other side of that neighbor. That, on the other side of him, also hired the same guy after I had hired him. But the guy here in the middle, he doesn't want to hire him because he's a cheapskate. So he, he, uh, he's he got a, his lawn mowed, 
at a certain time, and our guy comes at a different time. So he was out here complaining about the fact that after my guy mows, his grass looks too tall. And it looked ratty. <laughs> I'm like, well, what do you expect it's going to do? But, he was giving it, but he's trying to get the guy to fix it. I said, no, he, didn't, he ain't mowing for you, man. So anyhow, but, and he actually did, right? Because yeah. they were out there until I got out there. And they did actually fix it. Because, and I'm like, you can't do that. I can't be over here bothering my guys. So you're not paying them. Yeah. So get out of my yard, man. <laughs> anyhow, he got, he got ticked off. Sir, they're taking advantage. Yeah, it's one less Christmas card. <laughs> you know, one less Christmas card. No, I'm like, come on, man. Really? I said, I said, all you got to do is hire the guy to do your lawn. And he's got money. It ain't like the guy's broke. He got more money than I got. People are so funny. So I'm like, you know, why don't you just hire the guy? And then all three of us will have our lawn mowed at the same time. There you go. You'll all look better than everybody else in the neighborhood. Yeah. But no, man, this guy, <laughs> he ain't going to do it. He ain't going to do it. And that's his business. That's fine and well, but uh, but leave my guy alone. You know, don't be over here having him straighten up your lawn because you're you know because you're too cheap. Anyhow, so we got that straightened out, and he's ticked off, and that's okay. <laughs> so I had to actually leave the stream, but it was good. I had the course play guy going. I had him on stream while I went and straightened that mess out today. See, there's another bad. You watch your stream. Watch yeah. Well, so if you find, if you're doing a replay of this and you see, or you hear the dead spot, you'll know that's when that was going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to go back and watch it now and be like, ah, that's when. Chris that's when I was outside fighting the neighbor. Because, oh. Like, come on, man. I said, if you want to pay my guy, then you can talk to him. Okay? People are so strong. Yeah. Well, you know, what it is, and I have never understood, is how some people think they have the right to do these things and, and just do whatever they want. You know, if I want to talk to your lawnmowing guy and raise hell with him, I will. No, you can't do that. Is the other service provided by your community? Yeah, well, we pay for it in a monthly dues, you know. Oh, yeah, because you got an HOA, right? Because, and the thing of it is, it's supposedly done each year to the lawn mowing company who it's a put out for bid every year. Well, miraculously, the same company who does a lousy job has the contract nine years running. So, of course, there's nothing funny going on there. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, golf cart, they are the best boots ever. You're right. Golf cart jockey go boots. Get yours today at jockey.com. Jockey Inc. Yep. Golf cart has some things on some of my maps. I don't have them on here yet. He hadn't opened anything up on this map yet, but he, I do uh, put golf carts businesses on my maps. You'll see that on uh, Grizzly and and uh, well, I'm not going to go down the list. A lot of them. Here on several. Yeah, you'll see. Why? You'll see his sign on my maps. Uh, well, I thought, and I thought you were having delusions. I was like, "This is a real person." I don't know. Yes, he is. He is yeah. indeed. Now I know. I, and I still got the things up from the uh, course play there. You see him from that last script. I'm gonna have to delete that script because it's not right. It's not the way I want it. Right. So I go up here and manage courses. Jacob's grains was the name of it. We'll trash that. There you go. I gotta redo that. Getting a little more money. Look at that. At one point today in this stream, I was down to a negative 900 and some odd dollars. <laughs> There's 43 grand. Oh, heck, this is doing as well as the uh, soybean, really. Huh, good. Well, there's more in here, though. 70,000 liters in here. I don't think there's that much in that truck. So, yeah, yeah. It's been a way a little bit more than I'll tell you. I don't know if I asked you this already, but how do you like the trailer? 
This trailer? Oh, this is a great trailer. I, the only reason I have it, actually, was that it was an FS-17 favorite. And so it's more nostalgia than anything. Because I have trucks that I can haul 200,000 liters in. My haul and ass trucks, that series of trucks, they, they'll haul 200,000 liters at once. You know. Um, so, so I've got other choices, but this is just, it's a nice trailer. It looks good. Uh, it rides good. It doesn't, you don't, rarely do you jackknife. It doesn't get loose too much. Um, so I don't know. I've just always enjoyed it and used it a ton over on FS-17, but uh, I put it in here just pretty much because I, uh, you know, it's available and, uh, nostalgia, like I said, more than anything. It's a black sheep mod. So yes, and they make good ones, yeah. Mods, right? So yes. I, I like their stuff, but that particular trailer, the reason I asked was because, well, I love the trailer. Mm -hmm. It's really long. Yes, yes. It's sometimes hard to get in and out of tight cell points. Well, that's what happened on the course play that I had done earlier, that Jacob's uh, grain thing there. Uh, it made it all the way back. Uh, I just let it go, and it made it all the way back to down there at the edge of that, this field here, over on the, uh, that would be the northwest corner um, of the field. There's a tree there, and it jackknifed around that tree. <laughs> yep. But uh, hadn't been for that, it was a done deal, man. It was going to make it all the way back. Oh boy. Well, we're getting there, man. Well I say these these maps here they're great and they take they take time though. Four X maps are total commitment. Yeah. You're you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. But see I don't mind because I mean this is why I have it is to do this, you know. And it's what I signed up for. So <laughs> and what this just makes it I'm not fighting a worker right now, you know. So I, I kinda like that. Ooh, is that me? You see that? If you get a certain angle with the sun, or was that just a different shadow? Some of these mods, sometimes you can actually see the, the guy, you know, the worker. Oh, this isn't what needs to be unloaded. I, it's hard for me to explain. There's, I've got a, I can't afford to get it right now on this map, but I've got a cat. I think I can show it to you in here so you know what I'm talking about so it don't sound totally nuts. This, uh, or did I take it out of here? Nah. Ah, crap, I took it out of here. It's a cat telehandler that's, yeah. that's modded, unless it's in another folder. Hold on, let me look up here. I think I saw it on one of your other maps, though. I think you had it on one. If you position it just so, that's not in here yet. If you position it just so, man, um, <laughs> you see the dude's teeth, man, and a tongue. When oh, you when you yeah. look, when you put the camera down, you can see the actual guy's lower teeth and his tongue. That's creepy, man. <laughs> it is. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and that's why I guess it's not in here because I, I had to get rid of that. It was creeping me out, man. Absolutely freaking me out. I was like, no, dude, that's just not right. I'm like, who wants to see that? I have seen some before that do that. They get from the inside view, you get these weird little views. Yeah. It's really weird. Really weird. Oh, there's Jeff Brownlee. How you doing, Jeff? Thanks for coming back by, man. Good to see you. How are you today? Joel, what's up, my man? I'm just quiet. Yeah. Uh, where are you at? At, at Twitch. Twitch. Uh, on the Twitch channel is uh, this is YouTube, and then uh, the Twitch channel is uh, Twitch TV, uh, Twitch TV, slash Six Reeling, and that's all it is. Yeah, but where are you playing right now? Oh, right now I'm on YouTube. Okay. So I, we, yeah, got you confused. Yeah, no, we're on YouTube on my channel. Yeah, okay. and we're on the Discord here. Okay. I'm just I'm just listening to you, but I can't see nothing. 
That's why I wasn't oh, wondering. Oh, yeah, you can go on my, you know, go online and um, to YouTube. You know, like you would do watching any of my streams. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's a live stream we're doing, yeah. Cool. So this is working well. I can't believe, it. and then I, you can, so you can uh, TED with this, I'm guessing, yeah. and everything, man. I told you, man, I, I, I won't steer you wrong. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, I'm so happy that I watched that this morning. And, but you were the first guy that, I, cause I've watched, um, and it's not slamming anybody. I just couldn't comprehend exactly, or they went too fast, maybe. Um, like, I was watching, um, Clutch. I was trying to watch him. Oops, excuse me. I didn't mean to bop the mic. Uh, I was watching Clutch. Tried to explain it. Um, there was somebody else. I think Farmer Klein. I think I tried following his tutorial. And it just wasn't sticking. I don't know. But somehow you got me to understand it this morning. And I was like, okay, I can do this. And so Sometimes. now I'm glad I did. Sometimes, um, at least for me, sometimes... And this is not a knock on Clutch, because I really like Clutch. I do, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't knocking nobody. Uh, sometimes he goes really fast for me. Yeah, that's... Like, explain something, but he goes so fast that I have to... I mm -hmm. literally have to go back and rewind the video and watch it again. Yep, that's what I was doing. And and then, you know, because uh, I just... Well, it's part of it. It's just, I'm, you know, young guys can keep up with that, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a but, but being old, it makes, makes a difference. Oh, so right there... Here's the tree, man. This tree here, when I came back from the, I was telling you that drive course I made um, yeah. from the grains, it, it, it turned, I turned in here, but I guess I cut the turn too sharp because when it came in here, it whacked this tree and then jackknifed the truck just like that. <laughs> so with that big old um, black street body trailer, so. It's just so dang long. Yep, so that was the only thing that went wrong there. Uh, you're, you're absolutely right, though, from a, from, a, from a perspective of performance and function. It's one of the finest trailers out yes, there. Yes, yes. It's just too dang long. It is long. You got that right. You got that right. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I enjoyed it. I've used the heck out of that on 17, of course. And if I'm not mistaken, I think you can put a, a hitch on it. I think you can put a hitch on it. And I think it'll haul. I think you can put another trailer on it. Yeah, with a dolly. Yeah, I think you can. Or at least you could in 17. I don't know if you still can. Yeah, I don't know if you can. I'll have to take a look. Joel, how's you and BB doing? No, we got to. There's no problems. You're doing good? Busy. Yeah. We're just busy packing um, to move to another house, so we're oh, just busy. Oh, okay, you're moving. Yes. Okay, so you found something better, eh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, found some, some, uh, some place better to live. Oh, well, wonderful. Congratulations, man. That's great. Yes. Uh, hi to everybody in chat. Uh, old timer Dave and golf cart jockey. How are you guys, Tiny? I just want to greet all the people in the chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're doing... We got a good showing today. Some people have been here and gone, but uh, they were kind enough to drop in. Okay, this is full again. Pretty much 1%. I'm not going to wait on that. So, uh, let's check the prices. Make sure that's still the same one on over here. Uh, 1638. There's a co-op. Ain't that much difference in price. I wonder where that is. The co-op, is that over here? Somewhere. Rumpy's grains. Oh, oh no, co-op's way out here too. Okay. <laughs> All right, well then we're just gonna go where we were. Because we know where that is. We don't wanna make it easy on you, man. No, no. <laughs> and well, and I remember though, and I do remember because, like I said, I on the old map that I had that didn't have the cell points, um, 
that's pretty much the areas that I was putting them on. It was the outer corners, and um, and there is a placeable area back here where we're going to pass here again uh, in a second. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, that was basically it. I think I, I used one field. Um, and I went ahead and paved it, you know, and put some placeables on. But other than that, I just used whatever space I could find and put some pla put some cell points in. I only had like, I think I had like three or four cell points. I didn't take that curve very well. Way out there. <laughs> so even with course plays, you can see I've, I've got two guys holding waiting on me to get back. <laughs> that's how busy this, and that's owning two fields, that's it. Oh, I was supposed to turn back there. But see here, you got your uh, Ledley store. And you got that, you got your gas station over here. Might as well show it while we're here. Yep, you got your gas right there. You have, uh, I believe this is Missy's Western Wear. Is that what I saw? Yep. Missy's Western Wear right there. You have some uh, new houses under construction here, ready to go. You got the church back there. And uh, yeah, and there's a, now this is a cell point here. Which one is this? This is, uh, this would be Grumpy's Grains. <laughs> What are they paying for soybeans? Just curiosity. You'll see Grumpy's when you grains. start playing uh, uh, the homestead, you'll see this, a lot of this particular section, though it's much heavily, much more heavily developed now. Yes. Some of it exists in the, in the new map because, right. as I said, some of the road base, some of the structure came from here, kind of, you know, this is where it all kind of started. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, and there's a little bit of a uh, hundred farms in here too, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of everything. Yeah. And then, you know, as I've learned, as I've learned to, to create assets and things, I, I tuck those things away and use them on the next map. Yes. And it's not, it's not because I want to repeat everything, but it takes a lot of time to create an asset, so. Yeah you can find other ways to use it and make it different for the next map but still not have to spend hours and hours and hours creating this thing. Exactly. Yep. Well, this is great, man. I'm loving this. This is a... Uh... If, if you enjoy this map, you're you're probably going to fall in love with Homestead because Homestead oh, yeah. is very similar in a lot of ways but, but very different. Now. Yep. So, I think from that perspective, I think probably really gonna like it. oh yeah this is uh this is great and uh, and i know that now there's two cell points here no it didn't oh yeah there is did i see a trigger over here what is this trigger oh no this is where you sell your wool is that wool yeah yeah okay cool yeah in the back Got your Here's the cell point here, yeah. Grain cell and stuff, and across the street is your co-op sales. Right. Cool. The elevator across the street. Okay, cool. I think that's wool and cotton underneath the lawn. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't swear to that, but I think that's wool. Yeah. Awesome. A little long time ago. Yeah. But yeah, to, to be honest, I don't really ever, I don't think I ever really conceived this finished. There was a lot more. And I think that's why the homestead kind of developed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not, not really true, because where the homestead is now is kind of what I feel like is the finished version of what you're playing right now. Right. Yeah, I kind of was thinking that too when I was watching you on your uh, live stream over on Twitch. Um, it, it, I got that kind of feeling on there, yeah. Careful on the bridge. Oh, there you go. Look at there, guys. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet. There you go. There's the man right there. Funny Farm Gaming. Woohoo. Cool. I can't. The weeds are in the way, but there you go. 
to run across the sun. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I got one over here too. Nice. Yeah, and I remember here is where I put I put a couple of uh, cell points over here in this area on the old map that I had. So when you said there was one that had the cell points on it, I was thrilled to death. Oh, oh great! Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know there was any, anything kicking around out there. That didn't I was like, you kidding me? What? What? Yeah, right. Let's see, does this just go back all the way through? I don't think so. Uh, where am I? You are here. Nope, keep going just a little further. Yep. I'm gonna hang a ride up here. Very good. All right, well, I'm going to tell you all something while I'm driving back here to the farm. Is uh, we're coming up on three and a half hours now, and I've got uh, in 14 minutes, I got to do my breathing stuff. You know, my nebulizer, you all know, know me for a while, you know what I got to do. Uh, my duck quacks at me on the phone, and I got to do my breathing treatment. So that's coming up here in just a few minutes. So this will probably be a good spot for me to uh, head on out of here. And um, before I do that, I want to thank everybody. Uh, but right off the top, my good buddy Chris over at Funny Farm Gaming, uh, who made the map and has been so kind to sit in on the Discord stream here and uh, talk to everybody and answer questions and uh, just generally be a good old friend. And I appreciate you, man. Thanks so much for that, Chris. No, oh, well, thanks for letting me. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. Well, you, we, uh, I, I appreciate you, and I love your maps, man. So be sure and check them out, guys, over at uh, twitch.tv slash funnyfarmgaming, facebook.com slash funnyfarmgaming, funnyfarmgaming.live. Okay? Huh. That's how you get a hold of them. And uh, I got here's the farm right here. So, uh, yeah, so you do that, and... Uh, as I say goodbye to these guys for a minute, I'm going to prepare to, uh, and Chris, I, I'm going to uh, mute out the Discord for my exit here. Uh, so you can hang on there if you want. I'm going to, I'm, you guys can just stay here. I'm going to leave the Discord chat for a minute. And uh, you and Joel can talk until I get back <laughs> if you want. All right, so let me do that. And uh, then I want to thank everybody in the chat today. It was a fantastic job, you guys. Uh, we're entertaining in the chat there, and it was great to see everybody. I appreciate y'all coming in here so much. And, uh, you know, I, I, we had so many people. We had John Brock and Late Night with Bull and Zeke and Streak and Real Good Kid, which is Zach. Appreciate it. Matt, my buddy from Missouri. Uh, again, there, I'll mention Funny Bone Arm. Came in again. Tiny 426. Farmer Men, by golly. And Funny Bone 147. And, uh, Howie. Howie, 0102, Howie is a good buddy. So I'm glad uh, there. And, of course, the one and only fantastic buddy of mine, golf cart jockey, and then all the way back to the PlayStation buddy. He and I used to hang out every day on a PlayStation multiplaying on his farm, uh, Killer Weasel, the Fast Farmer. So thank you very much. And our good friend Jeff Brownlee. Thank you again, Jeff, for dropping in. It's good to have you here. Appreciate you, man. So I hope you all had a good time. I enjoyed having you. It's been fun doing this, and uh, I've got to take care of, uh, you know, my medical stuff. So I'm going to get out of here now thanking you, and I'll be back next time. Take good care. I'll see you. It's your old buddy Six Wheeling saying so long, everybody. <laughs>
And this has been a Six Wheeling Productions presentation. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.